Hi guys, Alex here. Welcome back to Shook After Dark, our first episode back from a short break. Um, I am super excited to be here tonight for tonight's Wednesday night stream. I will catch you guys this Sunday for our Sunday night stream. But today we're going to be taking a look at some Twitch streams as well as a video from Miss Amber Lynn Reed as well. A classic love to see it. Anyways, if you're watching on the replay, go ahead and take a look at some of those timestamps down below in case you want to skip around, don't want to watch this, very interested in this. That's what those are for, you guys. Anyways, let me go ahead and say hi to the people that are joining me right now. Welcome everyone to the stream. The show must go on. Welcome. <laughs> <laughs> How's everyone doing? Who was first? Miss V. Miss V, you were first. You get a cookie and a shout out. <laughs> Welcome. Welcome everyone. I have a um uh delicious huge slushy. So good. Mmm. Did I remember to change the thumbnail? Shoot, did I remember to change the thumbnail? I hope so. Okay, I did. Okay, we did. Yay, we're good to go. How is everyone doing? Ask her how she's doing. doing. Hi, Jackie. Hi, Turtle. Gorge thumbnail. Thank you. Twisty Misty phase. This is kind of a Twisty Misty. It's just a gas station blueberry and cherry. These are like my jam. I don't get them often, but probably because this is like 400 calories. I don't know. I don't even want to know how many calories this is. Let's just not and say we did. <laughs> you want a slushy so bad? That's like how I felt. Just sometimes you get that itch and you need to scratch it. You know what I mean? You know what I mean? <laughs> ah. You always get a slushy from Wawa. I'm more of a sheets girl, but that's just because it's like, it's right down the street from me and Wawa is a little bit further. So makes me a sheets girl. You went to the movie theater just for popcorn. Well, I enjoyed Batman. I recently saw that a few days ago. Was that Friday? Yeah, I think it was Friday. And it was okay. It was good. But like, I was like, what's going on? Robert Pattinson. It's worth watching it just for Robert Pattinson if you're a fan of him. Um, it's a lot. It's a lot. And um, Catwoman was really great. Wonderful performance from Zoe Kravitz. Like her as well. I want to see um I want to see Uncharted. Maybe I'll see that this weekend. I just really like Tom Holland. <laughs> you love Robert Pattinson? Yeah. I was thinking what if Catwoman was Kristen Stewart? <laughs> like not um not shitting on Zoe Saldana because she did a great job, but like imagine if they put Kristen in there. <laughs> It would probably be worse, but <laughs> it would be funny. <laughs> Uncharted was okay. Tom Holland is cute. That's what I'm saying. That's what I'm saying. Yeah, like a Twilight reunion. Wouldn't that be interesting? You wish Catwoman was Chantel? <laughs> oh, I said Zoe Saldana. Oops, Kravitz. I got it right the first time. <laughs> I got it right the first time. She does look a lot like her mother. So her her mom is actually with Jason Momo. How tall am I? Five, six and a half. <laughs> yeah. The Batman is a bi person's dream. Yeah, I feel like, yeah. <laughs> They're both looking good. Welcome, Ashley. Oh, no, they just div Oh, yeah, you're right. They divorced. That's sad. Divorce is always sad, but almost expected these days. You know what I mean? That's not going to do well. <laughs> 
Have you been keeping up with the Kim and Kanye drama? Yes, absolutely. I posted some of the screenshots on my Twitter of Pete's, Pete Davidson like texting with Kanye. <laughs> that was funny. He was like, I'm in bed with your wife. <laughs> I've got some super sour spray. I think I'm on like a sugar cook, sugar. What is it? Sugar. I need a sugar fix. Mm. This is so good. I got that egg. This egg. See that egg up here? That was a like, that was a warheads egg <laughs> filled with a ton of warheads and warhead stuff. I love eggs. Eggs. What's the big attraction with Pete Davidson? I, I don't know. I mean, sometimes he can look cute, but sometimes you're like, oh, I don't know what's going on. Do you guys know, has he told his story ever? Because I think that he has an issue, like a past and addiction, but I don't know if he's come out and talked about that. He has a massive, mm -mm. <laughs> Okay. I mean, that could be it too. I mean, hi, like he's famous. So <laughs> maybe because he's funny. Yeah, maybe you'll eat a raw egg for a hello. Uh, <laughs> maybe don't do that. <laughs> His dad was a firefighter. Oh, yeah. And passed away during 9-11. I've heard that as well. I've heard that. That's got to be tough. Tough. But, you know, he was helping people. It's a very sad situation, but also admirable. Maybe he eats the kitty cat. <laughs> oh, my God. Uh, maybe. Okay. <laughs> What do you guys do? You want to start with this Amber Lynn read? Um, now that the H three podcast is ending, are you for real? What is he gonna do? To be honest, I'm like over Ethan. All right, so let's start with Amber Lynn Reed, and then we'll go into Chantel Twitch. <laughs> What's clickbait? Oh, it's not really ending. Okay, H three is not ending. Has anyone seen yet this video from Amber? Here we go. We are now in Chantel's living room to watch a very special Amber video. This is called Gigantic Trader Joe's Grocery Haul Vlog. This ought to be interesting. Oh, but before we get into that, if you guys haven't seen my Twitter, Darn it, I should have had these screenshots pulled up already. Look at me. Okay. So somebody sent me this on Twitter. Hopefully you guys can see it. Amber Lynn is selling the engagement ring that Becky got her for $350, allegedly. Now, she did follow this up by, you know, because people started... Sending hate. <laughs> oh, no. Where'd it go? Did she delete it? Well, she may or may not have deleted the post, but she basically said, Becky gave them to me. Like, I can do what I want. I'm the one who bought them in the first place. <laughs> so they're mine. And Becky gave them to her. Okay. Okay, guys. So quiet down. Quiet down. Let's put it at 1.25. Bruh. I know. I was shocked. Like, she was the one shading those rings. <laughs> she was shading them so much. Why doesn't she just use them with wifey? <laughs> you know, like, she wants wifey to buy her something nice. Because wifey, wifey holds her own. I can respect that for sure. So, yeah. She wants wifey to get her something good. Something good. Welcome, Fifi. <laughs> welcome, welcome. Glad to have you here. 
We're just getting started. It's pretty quiet for right now. I think that what, yeah, wifey does good, I guess. I mean, based on what we see, she got Amber Gucci, 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 Louie, Louie. Maybe Amber will finally get her Louie that she'd been wanting. I don't Welcome know. to a new vlog. Yeah, you can come and watch me. Drink my morning coffee. Yeah. yeah. What am I drinking? It's a slushy. Yes, happy so hump day. We're in the forest. Oh my gosh, she looks like emo. And we're trying to find crocodiles. It's giving like the Batman emo. Okay, I'm just kidding. You guys are in my plant, which is a fake plant. So don't worry, I'm not, you know, harming plants right now. I just literally had nowhere to put you guys. Like, I have a fake plant too. Like, they sell them at Target for $5. Well, some are $5. I love Target. I just can't stop going. Target has taken so much of my money this year. Okay. Ran At over. all. Um, <laughs> this is such an LOL. You know what? It doesn't even matter. You're here to listen to me speak. So, um, I have two appointments today. Today is my dietitian appointment. I'm putting my earrings in, by the way. These are kind of heavy... I try not to wear super heavy earrings. I'm not sure how. Okay, I like her earrings. Um, We can change the filter if you guys think it sounds better. Just let me know. I just have a lot of trouble with... Um, I have a lot of trouble with um, just background noise getting through. So if I turn it off like this, let me know if that sounds better for you guys for the live stream. I know when I'm doing like a... Like an edit sounds good. My ears are gonna react to this, but whatever. Yeah, I have my dietitian appointment today. I'm pretty nervous. Um, I remember last update I gave you guys about getting my blood work, which I need to get done because my psychologist needs it. Last update is like, I wasn't gonna get an appointment until April with the doctor that I wanted, but instead I'm going through something else. So I'm actually gonna get my blood drawn today. I'm currently fasting, I'm starving, but so these are my earrings that I'm wearing today. I don't know, I'm... Okay, those are cute. Well... <laughs> actually digging them. And I'm about to go film some cameos. What do you guys think? What are on those? Oh, so Amber has been popping over on Cameo. What do you guys think of her new Cameo situation? Mm. Um, my link for Cameo is down below. I'm having so much fun with Cameos. I usually respond to them within a couple days unless you get the 24 hours. Then obviously... I Okay, so Amber said, now I'm remembering what she said in her rebuttal because people were sending her shade about selling Becky's ring. And Amber said that she's going to be using that money for outpatient and that her cameo is going to be like she's raising money for her outpatient situation. And you know what? That's actually a really good idea for her. You know, it's not asking for money. You're giving people a service. You don't have to buy a cameo if you don't want to she's offering something so yeah that's cool that's a good way to earn some extra money i respond within 24 hours but i'm having like tons of fun with it so if you guys want a little shout out or you want me to roast a friend or like anything i'm here for you i thought about making her do the intro like hi guys this is amberlyn reed and you're watching girl talk <laughs> thank you rusty for the super chat um just got my first job in healthcare. i love watching your channel and watching our girls with you the girls really keep me motivated to stay on track thank you rusty i like watching the girls too covering the girls <laughs> thanks for being here tonight sometimes falling down is part of the process that uncomfortableness is where change happens, where we evolve, where we turn that weakness into strength. The struggle that you are going through is a part of the process and you will make it through. This next clip, okay. I was debating on even if I wanted to Sorry. post it, but this was me kind of in the middle of a silent breakdown. Um, obviously, I'm not crying. There's no like panic attacks or anything crazy like that. But like in my brain, my brain was fighting against me, um, almost trying to find an excuse to stop my 
outpatient program. Um, I was kind oh, of... Oh, no. Okay. I mean, we've seen this coming. Amber, don't let the haters win, okay? Don't let the haters win. They would love to throw this in your face. I know. I know. Feeling like maybe <laughs> this isn't going to work. But after my little silent breakdown here, um, I did start to feel better. But I kind of just... Yeah, Becky was trying to sell the rings a couple of months ago, yeah. But apparently Becky didn't want to sell the rings because she just felt uncomfortable selling them above retail value. I don't know. She could have just sold them at retail value. That's what I don't get. There's a fucking ant. Where do I put it? Ugh. Just wanted to put this clip in here for documenting my journey through this so yeah can you please be kind kind words please hey guys so i had my appointment with my dietitian and i know i said that i like wasn't going to talk about the whole outpatient program but i feel like i do want to share my journey to an extent okay so is she having like some sort of team situation she has her dietitian and then there's other therapists and things. Tape. You're so right with the tape. <laughs> like my thoughts and things like that. Like there's Eat a it. lot of Ew. stuff that is like personal to me. So I won't be sharing. But like some stuff I do feel safe enough to talk about. And uh, one of the things is like I'm scared. Yeah, I get that. But it's scary. It is really scary. But you've got to stick to it because like we said in the previous video, like one of the previous videos, it's kind of like the end. Like she's starting. We always say that Amber has youth on her side, but that's not going to last forever, you know. And thank you, Silver Punk, for the super chat. Silver Punk Skull. Why do you say girl talk as girl talk, but girl as girl? I don't know. I just kind of say them differently, like depending on the situation. Um, I think girl talk sounds better than like girl talk. It's kind of hard to say, but <laughs> thanks. Thanks, girl. <laughs> Terrified, really. Like, this is what I've wanted forever uh, was to get help in the area. I truly, truly need it. Like, this is where I need the help with the binging. But, mm -hmm. like, I thought the dietitian was okay. I didn't think she was going to be structured. I had a feeling it was going to be very much like intuitive eating and no calories yeah. or anything like that. But I left myself leaving the meeting feeling like I needed something structured. Like I feel like I need the therapy, which I'm getting. Okay, so she's getting therapy. That's what we were just talking about. She has some different types of people. Sometimes I get confused when it comes to these like modern day dietitians because it seems like they're taking – like they don't want to offend people but like you're a dietitian <laughs> you know what i'm saying like you won't be offending people by telling them to restrict their calories do you guys get what i mean like they don't want to offend like bigger people but there's a there's a line between like what's actually going to help people and what isn't going to help people thank you george for the super chat finally catching alive and ireland says hi thank you george foley Thank you. I love that we have people from all over. The Abby lady. What do you guys think of Abby Sharp? Actually, I've only watched her a couple of times. You think this is all a troll? <laughs> well, I, I don't know. Well, let's see what she has to say. I mean, there's certain things that she can't make up right it's gonna be hard for her to make this entire thing up i think maybe <laughs> with my psychologist but like now i need something structured that's gonna help me with weight loss and it's like oh, my stomach's growling sorry my dietitian like doesn't want to talk about weight loss and my psychologist doesn't want to talk about weight loss which i understand because this is an eating disorder clinic but it's like okay i actively need to lose weight or i'm gonna die yeah it's like where do you draw the line like like we were just talking about like at what point do you kind of have to talk about that? Because it's pretty important right now. But I do understand like there's some different approaches. And when it comes to ED, like you are going to have to take a different approach. It's very like hard to like, I don't know, like it's hard to kind of come up with the right kind of plan.
for that kind of thing without triggering people as well. Thank you, Shady Lane. I'm hearing what she needs and wants to do, but I'm sensing a but is going to make its appearance in this speech. Thank you, Shady Lane. And I, I can feel it. I can feel like the doubt on her lips, in her words, right? Thank you. And Lindsay, Alex, I love you. You inspired me to start live streaming. That's pretty awesome. Good luck on your live streaming, Lindsay. And thank you for being here tonight. Where's the butt? Yeah, it's coming. It's coming. <laughs> so I'm scared. Um, the way that they want me to eat, I'm scared. Actually, I haven't they... seen this. It's it's raw and real. Okay, so here's Amber again. She's scared to do what they say. I feel like for right now, I mean, she just started, right? She should do exactly everything that they tell her to do, right? They want me to listen to hunger cues and eat when I'm craving something. Don't hold back pretty much. Like, Okay, do you guys remember when she went to the dietitian in 2019? Um, was that a dietitian no calories, or? Like, oop, nothing. Oop. Crap. Okay. She went to, was that a weight loss doctor or yeah, I think it was this weight loss doctor man. And she told, he told her to have like the beef jerky or whatever. Do you guys remember that? But then that she only lasted on that plan for a very short amount of time. It made sense. Like the plan that this man had given her, but Amber didn't want to listen to the doctor. <laughs> Thank you, um, Phantom Hive. I think she has a good attitude right now. Definitely rooting for her. We all deserve multiple chances. Thank you, Phantom Hive. Yeah, her attitude seems seemed to be pretty bright in the past couple of streams. Like, I haven't seen what exactly happens in this one, but <laughs> we shall see, right? Thank you, Phantom. She listens to what she wants to no moderation it's like when you're craving something eat it and when you're hungry eat it they literally want me to have snacks in the day which i never do and they like don't care what type of snacks like they asked my favorite food and i literally said jerky rice hot cheetos and ice cream <laughs> that was my top three responses and they said i okay, feel well have ice cream have hot cheetos i'm just like so scared right now like i kind of feel myself like i might have an anxiety attack I'm not very sure, but uh, I feel like anxious and fidgety and... I don't know. So where do you guys think that they're going with this? Like, just have your ice cream? <laughs> Maybe this is a way for them to prevent, like, binging. Like, just have what you want so that at the end of the night, I think Amber needs to keep it pretty steady throughout the day so that she's not starving at 9 p.m. Because that could be really dangerous for her i'm hyper fixating on diets that i could be doing to lose weight while actively trying to get help with an eating disorder but they don't want me to diet but it's like how am i gonna lose weight <laughs> yeah i can understand I that this is like real honest to god truth this is like literally how i'm feeling right now it's like i i know i need to trust the process she should try it. Yeah. Try it for the week. See if you can control yourself and try to keep it steady. Don't count the calories at all. Just give it a try. But how can I trust something that isn't like, like the goal isn't to save my life? Mm. By saving my life, I need to lose weight. I don't know. I'm just confused. I, this is where I'm at right now. Completely where I'm at. Yeah, right now. I can I can really understand her confusion because I'm like kind of confused over here. But I do think that it's to like stop like the, a binge from happening. I think that that's what they're kind of working towards. But um, I don't know. I, I, I understand her confusion. Recovery is something you have to work on every single day. And it's something that doesn't get a day off. That is true. There are cravings. Like, I have cravings. Not every day anymore, but I used to have them every day. So this is something that Demi Lovato said, and I just kind of wanted to share it. Recovery is something no. that you have to work on every single day, and it's something... <laughs> they are... 
Do you guys remember when they, Demi, when they had like the, what was it, a muffin or a cupcake? <laughs> And uh, they were so triggered by that gluten-free cupcake or something. Oh, my goodness. That doesn't get a day off. yeah. I really like that they said this because every day I have to actively work on this. And I'm just like, in this moment, I've made no progress whatsoever. Um, But this isn't something that I can change overnight. And my psychologist, even in just the two appointments I've had with her... She has taught me that it's okay to not be perfect. This is not black and white. Um, there's no failure, non-failure. There's going to be ups and there's going to be downs. And I like have to accept that. Uh, That's true. I wonder if she's talking with them like about her history, like how many times she has been like around the block, <laughs> how many times she has tried certain things and she should probably talk about that she probably does i mean she doesn't have to tell us what she talks about in therapy you know that's between her and her therapist but that would make sense thank you snowy owl for the super chat i'm sorry i'm not buying what she's selling some art that becky is selling (laughs) thank you snowy owl demi is stupid (laughs) um I'm just, I don't know, new emotions are arising, you guys, and it's making me very nervous, but I was warned about this. Um, But on a lighter note, here's a grocery haul for you guys. All right, you guys. So we just got back home because we went to Trader Joe's and then we stopped and got a drink. This is just lemonade with two pumps of vanilla, I promise you. I feel that like it's dangerous for Amber in a way, like just telling her to eat whatever she wants. Oof. (gasps) (laughs) I whole ass just missed my mouth. (laughs) If you like lemon loaf. Lemon loaf. You like this. Start off with some real plants. This is called the coffee plant. So we gotta take care of that. We already have the money tree and it's thriving. So, and then this is a fern. And a clay pot. Wait, do they actually have like money trees? Isn't it so cute? So as I'm hauling, my girlfriend is going to be putting the groceries away. Kill two birds with one stone. We got some ciabatta rolls. Because we're going to have like sandwiches with those. I got some baked cheese crunchies. Pretty much just knock off. Those look good. Cheetos. <laughs> um, got two bags of... Amber is the money tree. <laughs> Those baked, uh, like, Cheeto knockoffs looked really good. I'll have to go to Trader Joe's. This red lentil pasta. Got some avocados. Oh my gosh, the avocados. Do you guys remember in the Jen video that I did, like, on Friday? She tried to blame, like, her weight gain on needing an avocado. (laughs) I got some plantain chips, which I'm super excited to try. This is just for like a soup that my girlfriend is going to be making. Uh, She just got already cut up stuff for that. So 10 out of 10 recommends. These are Trader Joe's chocolate coconut almonds. One of my most favorite things there. Got herself a broccoli moment. These are some fresh jalapeno peppers. We got some zucchini some squash, some mango chunks, two of these grapefruit juices. My girlfriend actually got these. Okay, there I did a 10 second slow mode um, Fifi, so that should be good, I got Just let me know if that's good, okay? I've had grapefruit juice. I don't think I would like it very much. Got some fresh cilantro, strawberries. Because we're all hooting babes here. We got a... Hootin' babes. Oh my gosh, this is the um, kombucha. I love that. kombucha. I, like, didn't like it at first, but then I really liked it. Like, it sits in your stomach pleasurably. <laughs> Hold on. It's hyper palatable. It's so pleasurable. I don't know what it is, but, like, it bubbles up in your stomach, and it just is pleasant. I don't know why. Like, it's kind of how, like, a beer sits in your stomach. I know it has, like, very tiny amount of alcohol in it, 
but it just, I don't know, it feels good. That will be touching my lips. That'll be touching my girlfriend's. Cause ew. Pineapple chunks, watermelon chunks. This is a Chinese inspired salad. It's for my girlfriend. Oh, we got Chinese some of these inspired. Mediterranean style hummus snack packs. Wait, was that wifey grabbing something? Hold on. It's for my girlfriend. Watch for wifey. We got some of these Med oh. Oh. Mediterranean style hummus snack packs. Two of those. I'm waiting for a microwave moment. <laughs> Look, Amber's skillfully standing in front of the microwave so that we don't get any microwave reflections. Three of those. <laughs> I didn't even realize. We got some pepper jack cheese for our sandwiches. Got some chicken taquitos. I love taquitos. This is chocolate peanut butter mochi, which I'm excited to try. We got two bags of stuffed gnocchi, and we're going to put it with... um. Pesto. So this is potato gnocchi stuffed with tomato sauce and mozzarella. So <gasps> oh my gosh, did you guys see that? It was wifey. Pesto. So this is potato gnocchi stuffed with tomato sauce and mozzarella. Ooh, ooh. There's wifey. Oh my gosh. She has tattoos on her arms. So unique. Unique. I'm excited to try that. We got some artichoke and jalapeno dip. Um... The pesto, so that's gonna be Ooh. for those gnocchis. <laughs> I love pesto. We got two more broccolis. Wifey sided. Does she have a roly? <laughs> I don't know. I don't know anything about watches like that. Like we stocked up, y'all. Got some radishes because I love radish. Carrots. Got ourselves some apples. Some mandarins which some people call them cuties, some people call them clementines, I don't know. Okay, yeah. I know unicorn blush. Okay, unicorn. Help me out. <laughs> I don't know what they're really called, but those say mandarin, so. Got two bags of basmati rice. This is two cans of tomato paste. Oh, we also got these in the plant section look how freaking adorable these are gonna look so good in a living room mm. i feel like got some chicken pot stickers so wait are those real what's going on my dogs are going nuts two things of this uh they're raviolis it's just pasta stuff with cheese those oh i love those raviolis like they have them at the grocery store and like the green container got some turkey breast cutlets i've never had just like a turkey breast cutlet so i'm very interested in trying that <laughs> turkey breast cutlet two things of ground chicken hi pisces baby welcome got some roasted garlic chicken sausage Yes, I love the sausage. Amberlynn's like a sausage girl. She always has sausage. <laughs> Oven roasted turkey breast lunch meat for the sandwiches. Sweet Italian style chicken sausage. Oh, more um, oven roasted turkey breast lunch meat. We got three of these. Okay, girl, what? <laughs> this is good. Chicken. This is it's almost over. Packs. It's almost over. Just to stock up on. And then last but not least, some chili or chili <laughs> and cheese tamales. So that is a huge tamale. It's gonna last hopefully a couple weeks. So yeah. Oh, and that's it. We didn't even get a goodbye. We didn't even get a goodbye, guys. I'm kind of sad. Kind of sad. So did you guys see? <laughs> We're going to move on to Twitch now. Let's just move over very carefully. This is Chantel's stream from last night on Twitch. There's actually a weigh-in in this. I've got it on VLC player. I downloaded it for us to take a look at. Welcome, Amelia. I'm doing great today. Chantal Lynn. Yes. Okay, so this is the Twitch stream. Allegedly, she is 
uh, returning the iMac and some other things we missed. She, Roman was on, Clout Chaser, L Clout Chaser, or Transphobe, L Transphobe, whichever one you want to go with, <laughs> was on talking about how evil she is. It was so weird. They were fighting. They were like, they were both sniping each other and fighting. It was dumb. It was dumb. But yeah, let's just get into this. Yeah, so she made a new channel, allegedly, called Beezer Productions. And uh, I don't know how long that's going to last. Um, let's try to savor it while we can, because who knows? <laughs> but it's under someone else's name, so it's perfectly okay, guys. Perfectly okay. The Beezers. Yes, like up the stream. Yes. <laughs> oh, Jamaican beef patties. Aww. That's what I want to do. Like, you guys know how I did the Cheesecake Factory mukbang, which we did get 10K like I wanted, which, which was my goal. So I was super excited about that. I want to do Jamaican beef patties, but the Jamaican restaurant near me is like, has the weirdest hours ever like they're always closed so i mean maybe eventually we'll do it <laughs> or maybe we'll just get the dollar tree ones i don't know thank you mia for the super sticker it's such a cute lemon welcome thank you for being here welcome welcome bamboozled have always loved your messy reads but your level-headed take on addiction behavior is when you truly shine. Thank you, Bamboozled. And yes, it's like time and place. Time and place, right? Thank you, Bamboozled. She ate eight Jamaican beef patties today. Wow. <laughs> the Jamaican food is bomb. Yeah, I want to try it so bad, but they're always open. I mean, close. <laughs> I guess maybe I can just go in and order it. I don't know. Oh, I think it's working. This is last night on Twitch. Is Have I ever here? been to New Hope? I don't know. What's New Hope? It says 59 viewers and no chatters. Shantopolis has crumbled. So she has been getting like some pretty negative comment situations. People are upset, especially with her OF page. Now I ended up, I was a member for her. I was a member of her OF for one month because it was only $5 and yeah, but I didn't want to subscribe for another month, especially since she keeps changing the price to like $50. But someone leaked a screenshot where her um, her OF VIBs are starting to get upset because she keeps promising people things. Like she promised she's going to upload five minutes of streaming to her OF. Like she's going to she's gonna edit down her Patreon streams and put them on her OF page which doesn't really make any sense she hasn't done that yet as far as i'm aware so people are just like tired of paying for two platforms or they're tired of paying for one platform when she ends up streaming on the other one right so i would say if you want to keep up with her it's probably your best bet to go to patreon and not of or just watch some different channels on youtube <laughs> thank you red bang sue red yeah Thank you, because you deserve it. Thank you so much, Rad. Very sweet. A trophy, love it. And Liv D, love your energy and videos. You rock my socks. Thank you, Livy D, for coming. Oh, New Hope, Pennsylvania. Okay. Oh, where is that? I'm actually gonna go somewhere next week, I think. I haven't decided. 
like I wanted to Atlanta bees, but I don't know. It's just going to be so like, will I be able to drive that long? I don't know. So I was thinking about maybe doing like a Richmond bees <laughs> and then that's like halfway there. Then I could just go to Atlanta, then maybe like stay in Richmond for a couple days, then go to Atlanta. I don't know. I really just want to see Atlanta. Tampa bees. Yeah, well, I would I would probably just take a plane for Tampa bees because with gas prices, like the plane ticket's probably cheaper. <laughs> Maybe, I don't know. Probably. Miami, yes. Welcome oh. to Miami. Bienvenido a Miami. Ah. Ottawa bees. <laughs> there we go. I'm definitely going to look into like whether or not I can cross the border right now. And I'm going to look into it because I kind of want to do a Montreal bees or a Quebec City bees. Bees triggers. Sarah Kate Illumi. Oh, no, it's going too fast. Pistachio. Harlem. Bees in Canada, yes. Go to the prison. <laughs> Death Metal Bree! I'm still eating, I see. Does she do anything in this? <laughs> I didn't spree I didn't pre-screen it. <laughs> I wasn't Lambo! Cockword, full of it. Ocean City, yeah. I'm stretched out. That's how it goes on here. Lana Del Pussy, maybe. Sexy. Yikes on bikes. All right. I noticed someone on her first Twitch stream, they were like, girl, you used to make money doing this on YouTube? You're not doing anything. <laughs> it was so funny. It's like, that's what we're used to. That's what we're used to. I had too many mods. Hi, Dream Lover! Poetic Siren, Chantel's old KFC, Harlem. You want a patty? I bought a I whole walk to, for myself. I want her to talk about what her future plans are. I mean, she's been so up and down. I think that she still thinks that she's going to get her channel back. She hasn't gotten a response yet, but she doesn't, she's not ready to like jump full in, but she really should jump full in and put all of her effort into this because what else does she have to do? It doesn't mean like, even if she gets her YouTube back, like she can still do Twitch on the side. She said that she wants to do some games. Um, Yeah, you can always still use your Twitch channel too. Let's look at her Twitter Savage, for the Savage, tea. Scotty, hello. I'm not Tara, blocked yet, Adrena. thank goodness. Baby, Antonia, Biloxi, <laughs> bees are bees. She posted an article that says a British Columbia couple stranded in the U.S. unable to find a rapid test. <laughs> Girl. Thank you, Snowy Owl. Alex's Shook Tour come to Michigan? Yeah, Maybe. I'm not sure. Grand Rapids, that'd be fun. Thank you, Snowy Owl. Thank you, Latonia. I'm late again. Is the tea getting cold? No. <laughs> Actually, we didn't really get anything out of Chantal, so you're pretty early. Thank you, Latonia. They wanted McDonald's, probably. So here's what she says about Beezer Productions. This channel is not owned or operated by Foodie. Subscribe to this YouTube channel. I am an official employee of Beezer Productions. We have a lot of great entertainment in store for you. She's definitely framing it like... She's doing a good job framing it to be something under the radar, right? 
BBJ is the CEO. No, Sham Sham Soro is the CEO. <laughs> Mila. Sham Pamela. Sham. Jay Wow. They're good. Hey, Joni. It's Clean not her channel, burgers. though. It's Sam's. No, you have a mod. <laughs> Can she get Sam a social security number? <laughs> I don't sure about those. I ruined my dog's credit. <laughs> the cats love their toys, actually. What if you used, like, your dog's? Raven Glenn. <laughs> you bought a house in your dog's name? She's I been doing know, nothing Elizabeth. but reading out names for three minutes. I don't know. Let's skip forward. <laughs> Sorry, Sam. Why are you sitting beside the security system? You're a Do you do shout outs for fellow Twitch streamers? Yeah. She's going to do a shout out. <laughs> she actually had a pretty decent amount of people on her streams. Like, I think she was getting like 800 or so. That's good, especially for Twitch, because it's just less viewers in general on Twitch. Unless you're like a star, right? It's hard to build a Twitch. What do you guys think is harder to build, a Twitch or a YouTube? YouTube's like pretty hard too, like really hard. I miss you too, guys, on YouTube. Twitch is harder. Hot milk fruit salad. <laughs> what the fuck is that? Oh, oops. Actually, I have it set to um. Yes, Joni. Oh, Twitch. How come your sword's not there, Joni? I didn't they're remove both, you. They're both so saturated. Yeah, that's a pretty big problem as well. And like, you've got to be good. Like, if you're a gamer, you have to be good, right? <laughs> Nobody wants to watch. Like, who's that guy? Um. That guy that's really bad at games. Dark Side Phil. Like, he just became a troll because he wasn't any good at games. Ew. Bad Boy Tragic is going to do an OnlyFans collab. Joni, I'm going to check after. She could be like DSP. <laughs> I don't know when I'm going back on YouTube. Maybe never. People wanted me off of there. You got your I wish. guess it depends. Like you could just play like Animal Crossing or you could play um, like RPGs. I guess. We Fit or Just Dance. Yes. Oh my gosh. She should play the new Switch game. It's called... Uh, ring fit adventure it's actually hard like it gets pretty hard we fit was easy ring fit is hard <laughs> demod karate joe sugar and doritos girl karate joe boarsville without me hello yeah Joni. i'm not sure we just haven't been able to girl we've been keeping pretty busy without you she missed a lot. Juniper Beef. Karate Joe's not a mod. Can people just like mm. stop talking about KJ? <laughs> he does not need any more attention. Hi, Vilna. Ash, can I help you de stress? Thank you. Oh, yeah, there is a Wii Sports game oh, coming to Switch. Good, okay. Okay. Okay, the computer? No, because it closed at 7. Uh-oh. But I called. I can return it. Okay. So I'm going to erase my iMac. I'm going to go to Best Buy tomorrow. I'm going to get a friggin' gaming computer. I was actually, I'm actually kind of surprised that she's still able to return it because it's been quite a while, like over 14 days but i guess she can return it so she wants to get a pc because she wanted to play five nights at freddy's 
And she wasn't able to play that on Mac because, I mean, everyone knows that PCs have way more games than Macs. But I guess Chantal wasn't looking forward. She wasn't looking into the future with this. 30 uh, days. I'm going to play games on certain days. Oh, yeah. Who has, who's going to clean the Mac? That's what I think. I saw somebody that wrote on Twitter, like, watch the Best Buy employee, like, turn over the box and, like, crumbs start coming out. <laughs> and they've got to shake off the computer. I'll be surprised if they don't say something because it's supposed to be like like new, right? When you return it, it should be like new, which normally if it's only 14 days old, most people it would be it would still be like new, but with foodie, there could be all sorts of crumbs and um spaghetti sauce. <laughs> A roach in the box. Mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm. Jamaican beef patties crumbles. YouTube said if you can chew with your mouth closed, it will consider the appeal. Cat feces. <laughs> okay, yeah. And she's planning on doing games, which like... Let's do a poll. Does anybody want to watch her play games? Do you want to... <laughs> watch her play games <laughs> it's just not like her community really like i like watching gaming channels on youtube i don't really watch twitch but i doubt that she's really that good like i'm not really that good I thought about doing a Twitch and maybe like playing the Sims or like Animal Crossing or something like that but yeah, I would do that on a separate channel, right? Okay, so 10% want her to play games. That's interesting. If it's Wii Fit. <laughs> she should try Fortnite. I suck at Fortnite. I only played for like a week. And then I was just, ugh. I don't like those games with all those kids in there screaming on the fucking mic. Like Halo 3 back in the day, like, ugh. Horrible. It's not a good experience. Like 12 year olds using gay slurs, <laughs> shit like that. Appeal denied. <laughs> we can do watch parties. Best Buy closes at nine. No, it doesn't. Seven. It does close early. I'm, I'm going to trade in my iMac. What kind of computer is she going to get? Best Buy doesn't really have the best gaming computers. Well, I mean, I think they have some, but I don't know. I don't know if they have any deals. She better look. She's not going to like research this at all, is she? <laughs> mm. Welcome, Paranormal. Hey, you want to watch her build a PC? <laughs> I need a bath. I'll sell her this one. Thank you. I'm looking to buy a new one. <laughs> Just kidding. You're going to give me some of your paycheck, Accountable Beauty. We can oh, watch she that already bought... together. Oh. She already bought one. Oh, interesting. Did she have to buy, like... She has to buy a monitor and everything, unless she's getting a laptop. You want to watch her build expert Legos? <laughs> that could be interesting. Mm. Patty number seven. I haven't been keeping count. Was that a Canadian cat? Stop buying all that Whirl poor guy's patties. the mukbangs. <laughs> Why? I'm almost a Twitch partner. So what are their, like, what's the standards to become a Twitch partner over there? What are you supposed to do? She's going to have to. Yep. This is so boring, Chantal. Yep. 
she's going to have to step it up, especially if she wants people to follow her to other platforms. She's been making so many promises and she hasn't delivered on any of them. Like recorded content for OF. None of that. She didn't do any of it. She did one video like a month ago. Um, What does she even promise on Patreon? I don't know. Just live streams. She just hasn't do. She just doesn't. She doesn't put the work in that she needs to, even when like she is put in this situation where she's going to have to, she doesn't. Twitch partner requirements. Are you guys curious of this about this? Okay. Oh, you have to be an affiliate first. I don't know. This looks like a lot of, a lot of reading material. <laughs> I just need five more days. This ain't gonna hey. cut it on Twitch. <clears throat> I thought that I just... she would get like, I thought that she would get banned because she said she was gonna do text to speech and like people send like really inappropriate, like racist text to speeches. And I've seen people get banned for that. But maybe Twitch has changed their policy because that's unfair. Or if someone else, like, sends you that kind of message. I need five more days. Okay, our poll results are in. Do you want to watch Chantel play games? 15% said yes. And 85% said no. <laughs> it's about what I expected. Thank you, Jackie Attacky. Alex, happy Wednesday. So happy to see you live. Thank you for bringing us amazing content no matter what. Thank you, Jackie. And yes, I've been like stepping it up lately. It, it feels good to make some videos that are not about this one up here. <laughs> because regardless of where she goes, like there is going to be drama. So not much is going to change, but I still want to put out some more other pieces, you know? Because, like, just I've been getting bored with her, too. So far! I have to chew with my mouth open because I can't breathe. <laughs> melt, melt. All right, oh. let's go to when she goes into the kitchen. <laughs> She doesn't really have much to offer at all. Shout out. Like, this is really bad. Is Girl, it's going to take a lot more than this for people to get interested. Like, does she, does she care about growth, like, at all? Because right now she's so niche and she's only making herself even more nicher. She thinks she's some sort of celebrity, but really she's just the head of a very, very niche community. What? Shout out to Jordy Jordan. When I've been talking to my beezers, because I, I feel like all of my, yeah, Jojo, all of my, my beezers are not in one spot or something. So a little QQ. Yeah, that's kind of weird. So I noticed that she had like 100 people watching her on Patreon. Um, not to pocket, what is it, pocket watch? Not to pocket watch, but that's like over a thousand. <laughs> she'll be fine. I feel like even without her channel, she'll be fine somehow. She has some really dedicated beezers that will follow her wherever she goes. Hi, Cherry. No, I didn't get my nails done, see? What do you want me to say about the hickeys? I don't care. <laughs> Wasn't her, like, remember she was saying that her aunt came over allegedly to clean the house? You know? It doesn't look like she cleaned much. Bellu. Although, she's going to show us Box Mountain oh. 2. She's going to show us or is this Box Mountain 3.0? Oh, 
This is Box Mountain 3. Oh. Can we get a clear shot of the living room? <laughs> it seems like she's been trying to clean a bit, but she gets distracted. She takes a lot of breaks. Box no. Everest. No, I don't care, BB Dance. So, guys. What is that? Oh my gosh. <laughs> it's like another plate of food that came out of nowhere. Do you think? I don't know. I'm thinking I'm going to. Oh no, is that Jamaican beef patty crust? That was the, the computer, but. She doxxed herself. <laughs> oh, I saw that actually. So she put out like the address for Beezer headquarters. And Beezer headquarters address is obviously just her house. She probably deleted it by now. She also posted, anyone know how to brick an iPad? Um, she should probably call up AT&T and report it lost or something. Or she should line, I don't know, I don't know if she has AT&T actually, but she should just go on her phone carrier website and you can literally report it on that website. She should totally do that. It would be funny to see. She should do it while Natter is live and see what happens. That could be interesting. Thank you, Rain F. What do you think of the two new Facebook channels she created today? I didn't even see him. <laughs> She's creating a new social media every single day. I haven't kept up with that rain, but thank you for the super chat. That's interesting. Um, so it looks like she has a Facebook now. Um, okay. I heard that like, if you do those like weird clickbait videos, like those people that make those weird clickbait videos on Facebook, like make a lot of money. But, like, I don't know if a lot of people want to follow her with their real name. Like, people don't want to follow her on Facebook because then she knows, like, their real name, right? Hmm. Because a lot of people, I don't know, they want anonymity in that community, and they're in, in this community, and they're entitled to that. Um. What is this outfit? <laughs> Like, I really like it, but I do want to start game, playing games like. It's cute. Oh. Look at BBJ. I missed Hi, BBJ. I look different. I have no hat on. It's so hard to keep up with her these days. Like, I think she went out with Pete yesterday, right? But that was on Patreon, and I don't want to show. Now she has, like, this paid content. Oh, you meant YouTube and not Facebook. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> Thank you for clarifying, Rain. So it looks like she doesn't have any Facebook, any Facebook vi video channels. Thank you, Lillian, for the super sticker. It's very cute. Hugs to you. Welcome. Welcome. Pretty kitty. The cat's more interesting. She does a weigh-in, and that's kind of what I'm trying to get to, but we'll see. Let's get burritos. Ooh. Okay, I'm going to weigh myself. Here we go. Here we go. And I am super excited. Scoop their litter box. After this, I'm going to check out her other stream that I have downloaded. So she's scooping the litter box. I guess this is an in real life stream. She needs to be careful, though, because look, she's already showing like her back and stuff, which whatever. I mean, if it was YouTube, that would be whatever. But Twitch is pretty strict, right? She doesn't want to show any crack or anything like that. Be careful, girl. 
And I'm saying that... I'm saying that genuinely. <laughs> Be careful, for real. All right. Hi, guys. Hey, sweetie. Look at this. So a lot of people had speculated that this scooter was thrown out or it disappeared under Box Mountain. It got trapped into Box Mountain, but it's still there. Still there. Sam knocked over. Yeah, we watched Amber's. Yes, the scale. Kick, baby, punch, baby, kick, baby, punch. 500, no. Body weight is 352 pounds. Body weight is 352 pounds. There you go. Honestly, that's kind of surprising. And now you know! Do you guys believe that? I mean, how can she fake it? She's really short. The way it's stretched out is unflattering. Yeah, I understand that. I don't know. It's something up with her phone and Twitch that's making it look like that. She's proud. <laughs> so what should... Here's the point that a lot of people... So now that like her getting removed is dying down and the Natter storyline is dying down, what's next for her? She even mentions it in one of her streams. There's so many that I just can't even like really pinpoint exactly where she said it, but she was talking about what is she going to do next? And I don't know because the only content she's really given us is eating, weight loss, vlogs, or natter. And the vlogs don't really ever do that well. The mukbangs used to do well, but I don't know. It's in it's an interesting dumpster dive it's an interesting question what's she gonna do next yeah. <laughs> hey Trista It would be nice to see her go dumpster diving or something. Um, I don't flush cat litter. I use pretty litter. So the only thing you... Ham slice, I still have... I ate three patties. What is she um, flushing? You just scoop the poop and there's like no litter on it. So you just I just flush that. But then like oh. the pee, you don't have to scoop it. So. Oh. No, I didn't wash my hands yet. Muffin. Who's going to shave her head? She still is, um, she still says that like Natter wasn't the person that shaved her head, that she did it herself. But people find that hard to believe. Should we do a Natter check? Check, check, check. Natter check. Let's do it. Because that is just oof. Yeah, let's do a Natter update. Things aren't looking so good. Someone tell her she needs to step it up. <laughs> but also she's trying really hard this is important she's trying really hard to be like pg-13 because of twitch so natter actually did a stream called what dd trying head for the first time this was yesterday ew i don't even want to show it i don't want to show the head it was gross it was gross. Look at that title. So Natter's catching on. Natter's catching on to the YouTube game, I guess, pretty soon than I would have expected. But he learned from the best, right? He learned from the best. What is he doing right now? Three hours ago, he did cauliflower with eggs. Everyone. Can we do a poll? What's what's the poll going to be about? So Dee Dee is still there. Dee Dee is still there. As you guys have heard her name. 
what's going through her head. Thank you, Micah Spence, for the super sticker. Welcome, welcome. Welcome! He learned from the master. <laughs> Delusional Dee Dee. Yeah, I don't understand it. Like, I just hope that he's not doing anything bad to her. There were there was a picture that surfaced where it looks like people were speculating that she had like a handprint on her neck or it was a hickey or it was just a shadow. I mean, there's no way to really tell. What is he doing? Hey, this? Nothing interesting. Oh, a mukbang with Didi. The whole idea about the onion. And, uh, so he's been he's been keeping quiet about everything, which is probably the best idea. But really, there's no reason to watch him except just to see if Didi is there or not. As far as I know, he has no shame either. Mm -mm 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 -mm. <laughs> 20 pounds since being home yeah oh did she really weight. she gained 20 pounds well she's she's really been hitting the fast food a lot he might respect Actually, I lost 140 pounds if he doesn't respect any of his other women, I don't see why he would would he, why he would with Dee Dee. He seems to be an all around bad person. Get it? No. All right. No, this is Twitch. Chantilly Lace. Hi, Chantilly Lace. Who's using her old, that's like her old troll name, <laughs> Chantilly Lace. Also, um, what was her name? Marie Pondu. Somebody posted that, like, you guys know that was the fake account she made on Facebook to contact Natter, even though she wasn't supposed to because they have like a no contact order in place. She contacted him anyway from a face, fake Facebook. And someone posted a screenshot on Twitter that said that this old Marie account was from 2017. So she's been playing around on this troll account for how long is that? Five years. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Thank you, Rebecca, for the super chat. So happy to be with you. I'm curious to know which platform you think Chantel will be the most successful with Twitch, Patreon, or OF. I think Twitch because it's free for all. I would say Twitch too, but it just depends if she can behave. If she can behave and follow whatever their rules are over there because everyone always talks about how strict they can be. So I feel like Twitch, yes, will be her best bet. But I think she'll still, she's already having some pretty good success on Patreon with over 100 members. So that's a good question, Rebecca. Thank you. She'll never make it with Twitch TOS. Uh... <laughs> yeah, that's my worries. But now we're stuck with these PG-13 BS streams, you know? Ugh. Healthy warrior. She can't behave. She just wants to bees. I'll wash my hands. Is the... so germophobic. Okay, is the other live stream better? There's another live stream where she is upstairs. Should we give that one a try? This one seems to be a complete and total bust. Or we could take a look at her very first stream. Because I know that she talks a lot about like her future in that stream. So she's got her stream labs going. Oh. <laughs> Steph Kitten, hi everybody. I'm just um I, I just wanna see. So this is the live box. Okay. So Oh, do a poll about Natter shaving her head. 
I think that most people are going to say yes. Did Natter shave her head last time? She claims adamantly that sh he did not shave her head. For what it's worth. <laughs> Do they have a no contact order? Um, I don't know if they really have a legit no contact order in. But that's what it seems like. Like they're not supposed to be talking to each other. Thank you, Sandy Z Serious. Be happy always. Thank you, Sandy. Welcome. Welcome. I think Natter just cleaned it up. But Foodie did most of the shaving. It could have been Pete's. Oh yeah. She won't last on either one. She didn't listen to her supporters about Omega. That's very true. Everybody told her, like everybody told her, girl, this wasn't going to work. But she was so stubborn about it. And then she even got in drama with that random girl <laughs> who does edited Omega videos. Can I not make this bigger? Oh, I can't. <laughs> Hi. Plain cheeseburgers. Oh my God. Baked lasagna, Mandy. Okay. I noticed that Just Saying put up. Let's just go watch Just Saying's. <laughs> That's probably a better idea. Where is it? Overwhelmed by Twitch. Okay. Let's try here because she like spins around in the chair. <laughs> Chantal fights with everyone. Yep. Well, how's that going to go over? Like if she's nasty, like her nasty attitude, like is that against Twitch rules? I don't know. <laughs> I mean, surely you can defend yourself, but she takes it a little far sometimes. We'll just have to see. Yes. Oh. <sighs> oh, I have a friggin' thing here. Oh no, too. not not Pete's. She fangirls over plain cheeseburgers. <laughs> I ordered a sharp machine. It never came in the mail. What the heck is a sharp, a sharp machine? machine? Sharp. Yeah, I was gonna do public sharding, <clears throat> like fake sharding for views. Girl, no. What is she gonna do? Like a hidden cam prank show? I never got the sharder in the mail. Why? Nah, you don't like any of my ideas. That kind of prank is just. It's not dated. It never gets old. Farts are timeless. No, that's like another thing that's gonna get her like in trouble again. You know, girl. She can't. Why can't she come up with some like decent ideas? Why doesn't she just do like some mukbangs like she used to? Surely that doesn't take that much effort. She could post recorded mukbangs on OF with like a like a adult twist. Surely she could get that feeder money. Thank you, mujer importante. Love you. I listen to you in my work shift. Thank you. Welcome. Welcome, welcome. Welcome. Get that money, girl. Something as dated as public pranks are just sh shit. Why? Can you do cannabis? You're on one of those people that wouldn't even laugh. I know you are. So oh, I've sh seen clips. I've seen clips of this particular part of the stream. Shoot. Shoot pickers <laughs> and rats. Do you want to see me do donuts? Yeah. Alright. Anyway, I'm not too happy about the hunchback. So what they say is true. If you don't adjust your fosters. Oh. I have the worst oh, allergy. Was that it? Darn it. <laughs> A lot of people were sharing many different screenshots from like this particular situation. People were just speculating. <laughs> the aspect ratio isn't doing her any favors. 
you can't the drink worst allergies on Twitch. right now as well okay so oh, really that's weird twitch has so many rules like what the heck oh everybody just so you know is slow mode on right now i was about to do donuts in my kitchen that's what happened I would have loved yep. to see her do donuts in the kitchen. Watch her go around and around and around and then whoop, <laughs> fall over. But it's not stretched out. Like the thing is, is like, oh, I can test my widgets. I'm learning how to use all of this. So I think I have. She can play Pokemon. Hi. She can play Pokemon and throw shade by catching Muck and Snorlax and naming them Amber and Jazz. Oh my god. <laughs> What's going on with her and Amber? Amber hasn't spoke out about any of this. Like, she doesn't even want to be involved in any way. It just tells you that they're not as close as maybe they wanted you to think. I'm so thirsty. I'll be right back. Um... This yeah, is a oh, narcissist hi. asshole. Hi. Oh, cool. Do you guys see the dog? Okay, so she still has Box Mountain 3.0. Dinosaur, or is it just me? Do you guys see the dinosaur in the corner, or is it just me? It's just you. Let me fix this up nice for you guys. Do you think we'll ever get a Canadian horror story part two? Maybe. That would be a nightmare to put together, but... If Toad is ever in for that, I'm sure many people would love to see it. So. So he he stopped. He covered everything up to like March 2020. So that would be a hell of a ride to cover from then to now. All right, let's do our poll results. Did Natter shave her head last time? 71 say 71 percent say yes. And 29% say no. Nope. Nope, nope, nope. <laughs> oh, thank you, Tammy Lynn Reed. <laughs> Hi, Alex. So happy to see you looking tan, glowing, and healthy. Sending much love. Thank you so much, Tammy Lynn. That's very sweet of you. Okay. Do you see the dinosaur? Do you see the dinosaur? Seemingly innocent. Do you yes, see the dinosaur? see it now, yeah. You see the dinosaur? God damn. Rat face? <laughs> yeah. Yes. Unknown sub it is, my old face. Daisy makes C is now following. Yay, I figured out stream Whoa. <laughs> No, I don't know how to fix the ratio for when I stream on my phone. So I'll have to figure it out. This is what the... So... Oh, that's true. You can't walk away from the camera, but you can sleep on stream. Yeah, I heard that, like, it used to be you weren't allowed to sleep on Twitch, but now you're allowed to sleep on Twitch. But you're still responsible for everything that goes on in your chat. So I guess you have to have some pretty good mods. I don't know. But I don't even think I can have donations on my channel right now. So this is what happens if you donate something. Who's going to want to mod all night while she sleeps? Like, what's the point of that? You can do a bathtub stream. She needs to look at the rules and do a bathtub stream, I think. That's going to get her a lot of eyes. <laughs> Questionable at best, but a lot of eyes will be on that if she does a bathtub stream she should also think about getting one of those blow up hot tubs i think that'd be great john donated fifty dollars this is a test donation for fifty dollars that's cute it's a cheeseburger and there's a cheeseburger and but why is this here oh wow this look is so she's just <laughs> weird if by lagging you mean chantelle repeated do you see the dinosaur She's figuring out how to Excuse do me, all the pal. things and stuff. Well, I get to withhold messages to review them, I see. Hype, hype. Oh, okay, so you can 
review the messages before you play them. Well, that's a really good idea because this is going to get her in trouble if she doesn't do that. She definitely needs a hot tub. Well, Mandy Ann, I can show you guys streaming a game, but I have to get a gaming computer. Playing cheeseburger. Where did you get these emojis? She could play The Sims. Wait, I want to see. On Mac. Oh, there's global ones frequently used. We should play The Sims and make our quarrels. That would be interesting. <laughs> make Natter and Chantel. And Amber and Wifey. And then Becky could be there as well. That'll be my Twitch. <laughs> I guess if people follow, I give them a wiggle like this. What do you Are think? you playing The Sims right now? Awesome. <laughs> Goodbye. Oh my God, there's so much. What is that? She's beezing in this trap. Blue Diamond, what is that one? BBJ rocks my world. One message with Selena. Captain Manifest. Hey, j -Wo. I did not remember. She, she was saying on one of her Patreon streams that what her moment of weakness was that she wanted to go and drop the charges because she just wanted to be with Natter. <laughs> so that's that was one of her moments of weaknesses. But they told her that it's in the hands of the crown. Over BBJ, Hi. Miss Foley's baby boy. I need to put something on my head. I don't feel, I feel weird. I need to shave my head again. I'm so tired. It's like Does so she, doesn't she want to like grow it out at all? Or I guess it's, she just doesn't really have any hair right here. So even if she grows it out, like she's going to be bald forever. Has she accepted that? I guess Pete's can help her. Pete, Pete, shave my head. So late. I feel like I've been doing this all freaking day, and I still just learn about widgets just right now. That's what I'm doing. I'm studying and learning the platforms. Yeah, I feel like Natter's screwed. Like, I'm surprised that Natter hasn't run out. Run like I'm. Uh, I'm getting tongue tied. I'm surprised that Natter hasn't skipped town by now. Wow, I'm so thirsty. Do you know how many meat patties I had today? Way too many. I had eight meat patties today. Eight? I don't know, Winterland Love. I don't know on YouTube. It could be like, who knows? Like, What's the calories for those? Like 200 a piece? Are you guys surprised that she didn't? Like, he didn't skip town? Oh, you guys are freaking out about the eight meat patties? Okay, so 1,600... It's probably more than 1600 so maybe like 250 a piece. 2000. <laughs> I think people said, like said it could be like weeks or months, who knows. Weeks but... and months. Oh yeah, that's what I heard. There has been rumors floating around that MFW is going to get her channel back and she's been fighting it for 3 months. Don't take my, that's just a rumor. So don't take my word for it. It's just something I've heard, I've seen in a side chat <laughs> on a random channel. <laughs> so it's not like, not like a trustworthy source, but we'll have to just wait and see, I guess. Natter doesn't see. seem worried. Yeah, that's true. I don't Ashley. understand this. Like, so I'm on live on Twitch, but like on like Streamlabs. I don't know. No, I, I don't think that Natter is going to move to Montreal because I don't think that he can right now. I mean, there's multiple pending investigations in Ottawa, in Gatineau. I think he, plus he has his other charges that are keeping him there, which I don't know if they were in. See, I don't know if his charges were in Quebec or not Quebec yet. I don't know if they were in, what province they were in. Like they could have been in Ottawa, they could have been in Gatineau. I don't know. Tricky, tricky situation. But I don't think that he's allowed to move right now. That's the point. I need to just hammer home. Um, it depends what you want in your chat. Just remember the chat. 
He doesn't have the money. How can, like, a child get you banned? Like, I don't understand that. Like. Yeah, I don't get that either. How are you responsible for what's in your chat? Like, if it's an accident. That's, like, the same concept about why I was banned from YouTube. It, like, drives me nuts. No. How is it, like, my, like. (laughs) I know you're responsible for, like, your. Because everybody knows that when you go on Omega, you're going to get a dong. Everybody already knows that. You're the only one that just wouldn't. Listen to that. Content, but like. It's not at all, but I'm sure that they don't ban you. Like, it's up to you to, if something gets completely out of hand, it's up to you to address it and take the proper measures. You know? And also, they're probably talking about like people who have their audience go over to other Twitch streamers and like say nasty things or attack them that might be what they're talking about it's probably to protect other creators on the channel we love maybe you on twitch who's we i don't know did i fall asleep i'm gonna fall asleep soon i think <laughs> i think i was more tired than i thought i was i was hyper like not long ago but now I'm like yep tired. everyone warned her it's my channel so, yep yeah but that's like the plan like twitch, you have to be more like, than really... once yep um careful you don't get banned on here for stuff like that exactly Uh, uh. okay well i appreciate you guys giving me all these like uh boring the house i have to like approve boring the house yeah chat roulette all right i'm just learning like getting a feel for like the the chat and like how it works and like oh you can make banned words yeah, well, I have some banned words, like, from my chat. Just, like, the re- if you can think of, like, the worst possible words. Like, for example, the N-word. That's banned from my chat completely. It's just on my block list. And some other, like, really bad words. So you can't even, like, say I have to, like, approve certain comments and things like that. Eight years! And that's the thing that sucks. Like, just when you get so used to, like... I was like, so thank you for following. I don't give a fuck by zero. <laughs> it's like you get used to like a platform for like years and then poof, you know, you have to like learn something all over again. <clears throat> but oh well. I know. I kind of want to do a sleep stream. I'm really, really. Will ALR go to inpatient? Um, no. <laughs> I don't see ALR going to inpatient, but I also don't see, like, like, look at what happened to Jen, right? She wasn't in an ED clinic, but do they even have these places for, do they have, like, inpatient places for morbidly obese people? That's something I've been looking into for, like, a couple years now, and I still don't really know if these places exist or not. I'm really tired. Tammy was it's in one. Late. It's like they do. 2 a.m. Oh, Abe, yeah, but the problem is, is like they're really, really expensive too. Like I'm talking 30,000 a visit. Well, the visit would be like a month, right? Maybe more. I don't know. BBJ's thoughts. Thank you for the super chat. I truly struggle to believe that she's almost 40. Same. Same. (laughs) She's what, 30? When does she turn 38? Pretty soon, right? She's around Kim K's age. What Kardashian is the same age as her, Chloe? Chloe. Yeah, Chloe is her Kardashian age. I knew that she was like the same age as one of them. Yeah, Chloe. Just a little perspective. You know, somebody else that's the same age as her. She's an Aries, yeah. In Canada, you went to programs for ED with people with binge eating. 
Yeah, I feel like there needs to be I feel like there needs to be more programs, especially because of just how how bad this really has gotten in the past 30 years. People are suffering. And there's so much help now for for people that have like substance abuse issues. There's so much help out there. But not as much for ED. One, two, six. Thank you for following. <laughs> am I supposed to thank people? I am sleepy. Especially if, if you're in like Kentucky or some of those other like random states. <laughs> Not that Kentucky's random. I apologize if you live in Kentucky, but like Nebraska and like Kansas. I'm going to go to bed, sir. Yeah, I don't know, Bootylicious. Yeah. I'm so tired. <laughs> Look at my, I'm just falling asleep. <laughs> okay, so I need to work out like some kind of like permanent schedule though. Um, CPAP stream. <laughs> my CPAP is still broken. She does, she does need to make a permanent schedule. It's been how long that she has had to make this schedule, right? She was talking about something the other day. I wish I could remember what it was. <laughs> but it was like, I was thinking to myself, why did it take you that long to figure that out? She was talking about like, what is she going to do on her Twitch? What is she going to do on her Patreon? Like, how long is that really going to take her? She said she's working on it. She's working on setting up her streams and stuff and it doesn't really take that long like she needs to watch like youtube videos for this and other things like that you can get it set up pretty fast but i think that she has trouble like following through with anything i mean we've seen that she could be putting in so much work into her only fans right now like she could be doing shoots she could be doing the adult mukbangs like i was talking about that doesn't really take that much work but it would go a long way to satisfy her customers on there if she put something out like every other day. Like even if it's just a picture or a mukbang, adult mukbang or something in the bathtub. I don't know. She just she needs to put out something because these people are paying now. So when you're on YouTube, there's not always that expectation like. For my channel, I like to put out something every day, but if I can't, I know that you guys are understanding. And also, I'm not charging for anything, you know? It's different when you start charging people for money. For content. Sweet tails. I'm not happy about it. <laughs> Why? Is the Dorito emoji a free one, too? I want to see Chantal go to bed. <laughs> Thank you, Scorpio. Oh my god. I never I haven't heard spaz since the 90s. Bamberly, thank you for following me. I need to come up with a different thing than the arm wiggle. That was the YouTube thing. I need to come up with something different. Why? <laughs> Why does she need to come up with something different? Let's try to come up with something. What should we do? What should she do? Ready, set, P. <laughs> Ready, set, P. Okay. Five two seven zero eleven to the seven. Thanks for following. <laughs> <laughs> Music girl two seven zero nine. Thanks for following. She should raise a red flag, and then say ready set bees. <laughs> <P. clears throat> See, look, she's trying really hard to keep it PG-13, but at this point, she needs to come up with some sort of activity or something. And I noticed, like, on her Patreon streams and on her OF streams, she's trying to combat, like, sniping. So I'm not going to be doing any sniping anymore on this channel. Um, or looking at her Patreon stuff. Like, I'll talk about that on Girl Talk, and we'll put that over there. I'll have to see going forward what we do on Shook After Dark, but she's been lifting up her shirt and stuff. She's been saying like a ton of bad words so that people that are watching her on YouTube will get in trouble. 
I don't know. It's not worth it for me because I'm not playing that game. But yeah, that's what she's doing. <laughs> They're saying all this stuff will get me banned so I don't do it like singing and stuff. Yeah, what is she what is she doing? You're right. Like what else is she doing? Um what else is she what else responsibility does she have besides building this up? Like I can just think of like all the things that I'd be doing right now if I was her. But baby steps, I guess. She got her computer today, so we'll see her her PC today. Oh my gosh. Imagine if she did a lewd box mountain lingerie photo shoot. Absolutely. She's just sprawled across box mountain in lingerie. That could be interesting. That could be very interesting. Very, very interesting. I'll be right back, you guys. Very quickly. If you're alive and good, press one. <laughs> I'm back. Should I get the doily? Should I get the doily? I don't know where it is. <laughs> the fish nuts. Did you wash your hands? Yes, absolutely. <laughs> Everyone's good, alive and well. 0. 0.5 ham colored doilies. I should do some doilies, you guys. Merch. Merch doilies. <laughs> I don't know the arm flap. I don't know if I want to do that anymore. It's like a YouTube thing. She could eat in her underwear. You're right. She could do all sorts of things on OnlyFans. I wonder if she's ever gotten like, well, she has gotten some offers from feeders, right? But what's going on with that? It seems like she's, she wants a, an audience, not really like these weird feeder people. <laughs> a shook doily. You can pick your nose. What should, what should she do on Twitch? Beats me. <laughs> she can react to, to YouTube. Aren't like the biggest Twitch streamers like reaction channels to YouTube? Like, uh, like Pokemon and Hassan Abi. Like they react to YouTube videos all the time. I can't say any of these names. X No Limit Gine. Thank you the for hungry, subscribing. Hungry Fat Chick Route. Two, no. And Centripetals. Thank you. You want to know how to make me money this year? I'm going to blow up pool. <laughs> no! This is yes, going to blow up pool. Do you guys think that she would be any good to, um, at reacting? 
I don't know. I feel like she would get really bored really quickly. And she wouldn't be able to come up with like comebacks or like things to talk about like fast enough. Uh, when she reacted to reaction channels. Oh my gosh. <gasps> I'm bleeding. My, I'm not going to show you guys because I know people get triggered. But I like was going really fast and I hit my hand. This is ridiculous. What is that even about? She's is there seriously funny. a hot tub section? I need to go check this out. Fatty at yes, heart. Girl. <laughs> of Thank course there's a hot tub section. Fatty I'm Fatty Heart. Yes, I did read the table of contents. <laughs> the Cute table of stitches. contents. Thank you for following. Am I supposed to thank everybody who follows me? Okay, I'm getting off of here. I'm tired. I'm overwhelmed. <laughs> Point checks. Thank you for following. What? I'm getting out of here. Chantal doesn't Bye. represent you, Aries. I am grateful for my followers. I'm overwhelmed. I'm freaking out. <laughs> Let's take a look at thank her. Thank you for Reddit following page. Milk Pun 7. I, you're allowed to fart. <laughs> I'm going to take a look at her Reddit page and see what's what's new over there. Maybe we can get some hot tea. Is she on the Lay Beezer's account? Hold on, hold on. What is it called? Beezer Productions? Oh, no way. Let's check out this Beezer Productions page. I don't know how long this is going to last. Don't don't report it. Don't let whoever needs to deal with that deal with it. Don't ruin the fun. Okay. <laughs> So what is this? I don't know if this is the best idea because she should really wait for her appeal. So this is this is not her, okay? This is Sam Sam. Oh wait, this is the wrong channel. <laughs> this is the wrong channel. <laughs> Who is this? Beezer Productions. This is a parody. Oh. <laughs> oh, this is a fake. What's the real one called? <laughs> so funny. Beezer Productions. The Beezer Show. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. <laughs> How funny we have a fake one. The bees are show. I just want to bees. So this is owned by Sam. This is Sam's channel. Okay. 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 Oh, it looks like Orco. Orco TV put out a video. What is this? Opening presents from a very important Beezer. Um, CEO is Sam. Beezing is a valuable business. CEO Sam. Okay, so there's nothing really interesting. But from the... Yeah. Is this the fake account? <laughs> this is the fake account. <laughs> This is her opening birthday gifts, I guess today, on Twitch. No, I didn't. <laughs> you silly gooses. Yes, she actually opened up an LLC, I think. Look at their community tab post. I don't have a channel. Okay. So I'm a Twitcher now. I'm She's a, Twitch a Twitcher streamer now, guys. Better get used to it. Oh, does that mean she got, did she get a no? People are wondering, like, if she actually got a no or not. 
That's what I'm wondering. Thank you, Shady Lane. She's going to hate how much work she's going to have to put into Twitch. Or she can pay someone to set it up. Well, with the money drying up, I don't know. She needs to watch some YouTube videos and she needs to put some work into it, right? It can't be that hard. Thank you, Shady Lane. But I understand it. It's Chantal, so what exactly? How exactly? Oh, I don't know. Okay. So apparently somebody owns, somebody else owns the rights to Beezer production in a different country. I don't know. The red tape on that has to be interesting, right? Oh, wow. Maurice's has some nice stuff. It's not her channel. It's a little sophisticated, too. I like that. I need some sophistication. It's Sam's, it. guys. It's Sam's. My life. Oh, cool. I love this. It's a freaking nice, sophisticated leopard print. She's going to file a cease and assist. <sighs> okay, that's cute. It looks like her, like, famous one. I have a beanie that will go nice with this. That looks like her famous leopard print <laughs> dress. Oh, wow. She still has like the same Beezers, it seems, joining her on the show. I love! Oh, I forgot mm. Pete's asleep. Oh my God, you guys, we're going to be here for another 10 hours. Would she get a DMCA for singing? No, nah, I don't think they're that strict. I am an old lady. You can sing, but I, I think it's the same rules as YouTube. You can't play copyright music anymore, which sucks. I feel like it would be nice if we could just play some music every now and then. Or especially like, I told you guys that I got copyrighted by the taco truck. The taco truck in DC dumb that's dumb that's why people don't stream in public anymore <laughs> i'm not gonna be shopping at fashion over guys oh yeah I'm dana this year. yeah i think i'm gonna talk about dana tomorrow for girl talk but i'm so proud of her so proud of dana um excuse me I have a black dress for my birthday. We're team Dana out here on God. Oh my God. So this is from it Maurice's. Is funny. This is gorgeous. This is Copyrighted my Copyrighted by a taco truck. I've yeah. always wanted a little black bodycon dress for my birthday. And this is it. Look at the detail here. It's going to look nice. Neck. This is gorgeous. The material. Did we talk about Life by Jen? No, not yet. We should, we should take a look at this um, channel, the channel I looked at yesterday, Slash Our Girl. They've been gone for about a month. They haven't been uploading anything, but they have some classic Jen videos that are really worth taking a look at. They have a great collection of Jen videos over there. It was really good quality. Oh, yes, I know what I'm wearing. Those star earrings, my black wig, this... I'm going to go see Alejandro, film some OnlyFans content, get my groove back. Alejandro. Okay, Alejandro, how's that going to go? Alejandro, Alejandro. <laughs> Praise God it isn't ham. I have a ham colored shirt that says shut up EG. I'm going to wear it too. I, I love ham colored shirts. Why are people saying Alejandro isn't real? Is that her new Mexican lover? So have you guys, did you hear what she said about that guy? She said that he's like, I don't even know if I want to repeat it because it was so dumb and offensive. <laughs> she was like, he's autistic, but he's still hot. 
is what she said. I was like, what? How does that have anything to do with hotness? Oh my God, I didn't even know it. Look at, this is what makes me happy. The thought this person took. E-beggar. Alejandro is shook. Yes. Hi, Oka Cat. Quote unquote life by Jeff. <laughs> yeah, we're we're still waiting on that new video, John. What is she doing? Dragging her feet. Dragging her feet on that new video. Mm -mm -mm. Still on TikTok causing trouble, John. <laughs> she needs glasses. All right. Oops. Ooh, active zone. I need just a big plain t-shirt I can just put on and go out on the long road and go for walks with you guys. We're going to get snatched. Okay, so are, are we to expect some weight loss journey content? Ooh, this could be interesting. She could do her weight loss journey content on Patreon vlogs and then her adult mukbangs healthy mukbangs on of what else what other content does she really have since the natter situation is done or we she could find a new man we're gonna get snatched and the downward spiral continues i know i'm cringe when i try to use internet lingo like we've been new and okay sis what else is there we been new, sis. Sure, I mean, Jan. <laughs> Snatched queen! My people won't hang out of these clothes. Oh, no! <laughs> I literally bought this shirt. But what is that? I can always use another for when that one's dirty! I wanted to it's I wanted to buy this. I wanted to wear this shirt today, but it was dirty. Okay. I recently uh, bought this because I love it so much. Doesn't one, she have an in unit washer and dryer? This is good. I'm gonna have two. And I'm going to um It's probably under box mountain and covered in spaghetti sauce. <laughs> Wear it when the other one's dirty. Oh, you want you want another Becky and Amber live stream? That could be interesting, Amber. If you're listening, a Becky reunion on live stream, that would get the views. That would get the views. I love that. Sometimes I buy the same pair of pants just to like have an extra pair for when they're dirty. Just get two of everything. Or maybe like have a Dana on her stream. I would love to see her and Dana. It could be called Frenemies. <laughs> Frenemies. Me. Who bought me all this? Somebody amazing. Like for real. I love the packaging. Oh my God. Oh my God. It's so thoughtful. Oh, wow. I can't. I need to become a thoughtful person like this. Where is she begging for money? Why are people saying that she's begging for money? Where? I want to do something nice like this for... Okay. I need to do something for my Beezers. Absolutely. So if I get paid on the 21st, I will do something so special for my Beezers. Oh, okay. So she's still questioning whether or not she's going to get that check. I think that she will get her check. She needs to check her AdSense account. And if if it's already in her AdSense account, then she will get paid. If it's not in her AdSense account yet, then she's never going to get it. From YouTube, Rain. Oh. 
Oh my god, I love it. My favorite color. Whoa. I think they pay out. I think she's going to be fine because I think they put the money in your account on the 11th, but you can't have it until the 21st. So she got banned. I don't know. I'm like 75% she's going to get it. 25% she's not. I could be wrong. Does that hurt your eyes or is it just me? Oh my God. It's cool. What's she going to do and with for rent? I don't know what she's going to do for rent. Like the possibility that she spent all that money and has no savings. Like. What in the world was she even buying? She, I know she gave so much money to Natter. Will she get paid? Okay. Twinkie and Dana are the only girls to have a major weight loss. Yes. We love Twinkie. We stand Twinkie in this house. She hasn't changed drastically since Natter. Oof. Oof. Bag, I love Ooh, like yay. We've got like a controversial poll. Keep voting, keep voting. Usually the poll, it's like either one or the other. <laughs> I don't know how to pick out shirts for myself. Like they never fit me right. So like to have someone else like do it for me, so awesome. I should seriously just e-transfer people money and be like, hey, go shopping for me. Ship it to my house. <laughs> Look That's at these clothes. totally like deranged. <laughs> Look at it. Delusions. Oh, wow. So what VIB got her all this, all these gifts? Is this Sandy and Ange? I love you. Oh my god. That shirt is There's massive. no way. I know. They must have felt so bad about her losing her channel. <laughs> it's plain kind of cheeseburgers, really. And big packages. It's birthday stickers. I'm going to take all these off. Ooh. The person, I can tell you, like, you're like me. I love black. I love black. Oh, wow. More I did see that some people were saying that they got their super chats refunded. Very interesting. But what she's talking about is February's pay, right? So if they got March super chats refunded then that doesn't really mean anything. Races, another like shirt dress. It's like a tunic, just plain, super long will be flattering because yeah. black is very slimming. Yeah, yeah. you know, <laughs> you seem to know what I need to wear here. I can't wait. Or maybe I'll wear this one. I'm going to wear that black dress for my birthday. I with those red shoes, red lipstick, those strappy red shoes. I'm so excited. I'm interested to know who in the world actually actually spent all this money on her look at this chat right here when was the last time pete's went to the vet oh, damn okay so the poll will she get paid 44 percent say that yeah she'll get paid and 56 say no it's not looking so good for our girl if she was smart she would have some investments <laughs> what should she invest in? It's time to buckle down, foodie. It's now or never. This stream is pretty bad. Uh, we're done with that one. That was bad. Anything good on this channel? Beezer Productions. We already talked about that. Wang in. I really like this channel, Piggy. It's It's a good channel. Foodie's late grandmother. Yeah, I'm not going to watch that. 
Roman has a message. No, I'm not going to watch that. No more clout for Roman. No. <laughs> you guys probably thought I took a picture, a screenshot of the table of contents of all the <laughs> rules, and I just left it there. She has bad quality like Callie. I'm so excited to see the YouTube Underground stream tomorrow. She has like some lost tapes, some interesting streams regarding Callie, and she's going to be showing them and talking about them tomorrow. So I'm looking really forward to that. Okay, good night. I don't know if you guys have been following that or not. Oh, God. Tomorrow, I need to get a gaming computer. See my lip play. Thank you for following. Thank you. It's so, the, the writing is so small, and I'm missing comments. I have to approve. Well, I don't know. Can mods approve comments, too? The dinosaur is going to get you banned. <laughs> Pray a win. Thank you for following. Table of contents. Is that annoying? Like, or should I... <laughs> I hope it doesn't annoy anybody, but okay. Zero effort, in case you didn't notice. It's called just chatting. <laughs> All right. Um, oh, that's the job of the mods? Oh, I didn't know that. Oh, okay. Okay, okay. I thought I had to do it. Not on mobile. Oh. Yeah, mobile? I don't know. Mobile, I'm probably going to have to do the Patreon thing. We'll see. Oh, my God. I look flushed and tired. All right. Yeah. Yeah, like my like I was ready to do the donuts in my kitchen and then like my phone. So basically, hold on, let's explain it with the Cali drama. Somebody in my mentions explained it pretty well. Let me see if I can find their tweet. Um Well, basically, you guys remember when she she like she got with this man Shane that was also a reaction channel. Well, their, their um, relationship is over and she's been talking a lot about him. So that has rubbed some people the wrong way. And there's a lot more than that, but I'm trying to find this tweet. Okay. This is from Amberlynn's $15 diet soda who explains the situation. Her fiance left her, which was Shane, the reaction channel, right? And she hasn't taken it well. She said she's in crisis and she did like that live stream and she needed help for money with rent because he left overnight. Shane left her, but she ended up using the money that she got from, well, not from that stream, but from PayPal. So she was like misusing the money and she bought a gamer chair and something else. And now she was exposed because she made this like, she was talking a lot of crap in private live streams, sometimes about Yaba, but also there was this really shocking clip that came out on Shane's Twitter. If you go check out his Twitter, damn it, Shane. It's basically Callie going off and it was very threatening and just it doesn't look good for her at all. So you should check out that. <laughs> Maybe we'll put it in like girl talk or something. I don't know. I would have to edit out a lot of the words because I can't really play it on here. She was threatening him. Yes. Um, yeah, I can't really play it on here because it's it'll probably get me taken down or something. She bought headphones or something. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Just watch uh, watch YouTube Underground stream because she has a lot more of the tea. I'm actually watching along. I don't know like exactly what's going on. So I'm just watching for now. Phone just crashed. Like screen went black and everything. And now my eyes are like closing. They're burning from my allergies. Oh. And I'm trying to learn this thing. It's on and, Twitter, like, yeah. And stuff. See, like, so if you guys can see the dinosaur, that's good. The Twitter drama is like crazy. Like you're missing, um, missing missing a lot of tea <laughs> art pop baby thank you for following thank you so much don't get involved i don't i don't plan on getting involved no but like i've already covered free spirit on uh on girl talk before it was just it was in 2021 
It's the girl a cop apocalypse. <laughs> yeah, Hater Nation it pretty much fell like two years ago, basically. I've just been doing my my own thing ever since. Thank you. I know I ate too many meat patties today. Did I watch Drag Race? No. LM Fram. Thank you, LM Fram, for following. <laughs> <laughs> Drippy potato YouTube thanks for following. Mm. I hope lots of people raid you. I don't know how to raid people, but I'm like okay, I to Who's she that. gonna raid? <laughs> I was thinking about this last night and like what do you guys think? So as far as the girls go, Amberlyn is easy mode, Chantal is normal mode, and Life by Jan is hard mode. Because it's like hard to watch. <laughs> Like, Amber is, like, where most people started with Amber, right? Raise your hand if you started with Amber. Put a one in chat. Put a one in chat if you started with Amber. A two in chat if you started with Chantal in this community. One, 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 one. Mostly ones. Couple twos. Couple twos. You started with 600 pound live. <laughs> yeah, I've heard. Um, I've heard of people watching 600 pound life videos on YouTube. And then eventually they end up getting recommended like Amber Lynn or Chantal. Or um, it mostly starts with Amber and then. And then you get recommended a reaction channel, and then you end up getting seeing Jen. Then maybe you'll see Amy's life journey if it's an old video. <laughs> I remember, does anyone remember January 2020? Like Amber had disappeared from the internet. Chantel had disappeared from the internet. I just remember like we beat that Stephanie Sue and Nick Akato drama. Like we just like, beat that to the floor <laughs> beat that dead horse for like half of the month and then amy's life journey arrived on the scene at that same time because people were starved for content because amber wasn't around foodie wasn't around so then that's when amy kind of popped up and that was interesting where is amy she's disappeared I believe last I've seen of Amy, she was doing, she was doing like her nails. <laughs> she was doing like ASMR nails. You started with mukbangs and ended up at you. <laughs> you started with MFW. That makes sense. She's like loosely related to this situation. Cause like, that's like her drama community hater community. It's like a neighbor community, I, I would say. Plus like the, the, uh, then like the beauty guru drama. I consider that kind of a neighbor community, but there's a lot more people over there, you know? I don't like that. I don't like that beauty guru drama. It's so stale now. Nobody seems to, I think that these beauty gurus, ever since like Dramageddon 1, 2, and 3, like they've really tried hard to not, not cause drama. <laughs> Stale tea, yeah. I want to get a tattoo on my head, but I need to shave my head already again. Oh, you were watching Nick? I guess I can do that on live stream, can I? Or is it against Nick Okado, yeah. I didn't check my junk mail, though. But my channel would just be back, wouldn't it, if they reinstated it? Probably. Okay, let's do a Nick Okado update. It's been a while since I've checked on what he's been doing. That can always be interesting. Chantel's getting really, ugh. <laughs> she's really, I think that she's trying so hard to be PG-13 that she's really lost a lot of her luster. It's sad. 
more Nikocado. Yes, more Nikocado. I heard that he was still... Still doing the same things. Look, Hungry Fat Chick. Okay, Hungry Fat Chick. I can get behind that. What are they doing? I have something to say. A lot of you guys want to meet me, right? You have been dying to meet me. I never do meet and greets. I've never done a tour. I haven't done a meet and greet for like five years. Now let me tell you how you Is he going to go on a meet and greet? I want to see Hungry Fat Chick. I don't care about Nick. <laughs> Wait, let's look at him in the store, though. That's worth watching. I posted another mukbang last night in the middle of the night. And I also did a food haul, shopping haul. So we have five videos that just went live in the last five days. Come on over. What is that? Out. His Patreon. It's my secret page. but it's Oh, that's his Patreon. For like the top fans. It's like a community where we all chat about Nikocado stuff. What does he do over there? Like, does he... Does he play the same character over on his Patreon? Or does he do like himself <laughs> and where's that line okay here's candy i want to see candy you've got like 10 minutes of personal ads <laughs> you're glowing is that contour no it's the tanology drops i love these tanology drops you started with chikara Oh, I like her. Hi, Candy! <laughs> I hope that she's doing well. Doesn't she have an OF? Yeah, Chantal should really take some pointers from Candy, right? She's made, She's doing her own thing. She doesn't really get in any drama. She just makes the content that she enjoys doing. Even though it can be like... I mean, watch at your own risk, right? When it comes to that kind of stuff. But the YouTube mukbangs, she does her own thing. So even though it's, yeah. <laughs> it's not my cup of tea, but like she does her own thing. That's what I'm trying to say. <laughs> oh my God. We are having a big cheat day. <laughs> <laughs> I love the cheat days though. Oh my goodness. So, actually, if you could help me take out all the little sauces. The little sauces? Yeah, and we'll start opening <laughs> them while I describe the things. Okay. We have a lot of stuff going on. We got a whole bunch of... Okay, like... <sighs> How do they do this for this many years? Like, doesn't Nick get tired of it? I know that we're all tired of it. Like, I'm not going to sit here and watch this mukbang, but I just kind of wanted to see... But he's been doing this for how many years now? Like since 2018, he really turned into the character Nikocado. Is Trisha lying? Oh, let's do a Trisha Paytas update too. In here. And I kind of went all out because this is her first time having <laughs> a lot of things from this place. It doesn't seem like he's in any drama recently. Aside from like what he did to Amber. Like, what do you guys think about that? Like... He's a channel with over a million subscribers saying this about Amber. And I guess he didn't use her name and that was probably on purpose. But it's pretty fucked up because like she went to him first. Well, not first, but like she went to him and told him about what she was going through. So I just don't understand like why he turned on her like that. Because it's not like he has a squeaky clean image anyway. Like, he doesn't have a squeaky clean image. Do you want to look at blonde Sunday school teacher for MJ? <laughs> Trisha Paytas has to be, like, seriously shadow banned because I don't get her videos anywhere. Like, and her views, like... She kind of went down in the same way that Amber went down. Like 30K on a five. She has 5 million subscribers and 30K on a view. That's crazy to me. 53. I mean, this one got 100K, but it's almost like the same thing that Amber is going through right now. 
just on a different level because Trisha is just like so well known, right? She's for sure shadow banned. Yeah. Car mukbangs. <laughs> I used to love watching her go around to the drive through. Do you want to look? Let's watch this. Finding out I'm pregnant. She's not shadow banned. People just don't care. <laughs> that could be true too. Like this whole situation with H3, H3 like really ruined her reputation. And I think people were just done. And then all the lies that came out. I hope that she can get her shit together. <laughs> I really do hope that she can get her shit together. Okay, maybe we shouldn't watch this. <laughs> maybe we shouldn't watch this. Part of me is like happy for her, you know, she's been, she's been like trying, she hasn't, I don't know how long she's been trying, but she's always said that she would never have a baby because her tubes or something was messed up because of her gonorrhea or something. So it's almost a miracle that she even got pregnant. What's her ASMR like? Do we dare? <laughs> Oh, geez, this looks like a mess and a half. <laughs> There's Moses. Okay, no, I'm not going to torture you guys like that. I'm not going to torture you guys like that. <laughs> oh, wait, Moses has an ASMR channel. We're just going down a rabbit hole right now. ASMR by Moses. Interesting. Singing bowl. What's this? They draw. Hmm. <laughs> Trisha and Moses painting. Yes, it's it's kind of cute, right? I gave you a kiss on our house to start it with good luck. Did you guys ever see those people on Twitch that they have those microphones with the ear and they like lick it and it's and then and they like suck it. It's like so weird. But like it's allowed on Twitch. So like their rules are so weird because I don't know, it's very sexual, but it's not, but it is, but it's not. I mean, it's like a gray area. A really gray area. Oh, weight loss. She always gets me with these live streams. Like she'll give it a good title, but like it's 57 minutes. So how am I going to figure out, you know? What have I been watching? <laughs> no, I wasn't watching the ear licking. Um, somebody posted it on Twitter. <laughs> somebody posted that on Twitter, guys. It wasn't me. Can we not? Okay, let's do our life be life be Jen. <laughs> let's do one of Life by Jen's uh, compilation videos on this channel that I found. Because they have some really interesting compilations. Dieting while, yeah. Cherry Crush does the ear licking thing. Should we do this? What I really eat on a binge day? 
Is this one look good? Go check out this channel if you guys want to. They have a lot of good gen videos. Look at all these good, amazing gen compilations. <laughs> Let's check this one out, though. This one's caught my eye. It's easier to listen to the devil because it's um, a very quick thing immediate gratification my life is all about immediate gratification hey guys so today is saturday december 22nd and okay. i have had requests to show what i really eat in a day okay i kind of remember this one this is like life by jen's we've reacted to the actual video that's part of this compilation jen has like a million view video called what a morbidly obese woman really eats in a day <laughs> and i suppose some people don't believe what i eat in a day but um what i've posted before i actually eat right now i'm not being super strict with myself i'm focusing on not gaining over the holidays it is quarter after 11 in the morning the only thing you haven't seen here is I had a cup of iced coffee, a glass of iced coffee, and I'm still drinking that. Does this look good um, to you guys? <laughs> it honestly just looks like a, I don't know, it looks like a McDonald's thing or one of those Jimmy Deans. I think it is a Jimmy, Jimmy Dean situation. Thank you, Raquel, Ma Meg, and Raquel. Did you ever delve into the art side of YouTube and the drama with Creepshow and her stalker that allegedly turned out to be her? Yes. Yeah. I've seen, um, I've seen Emily's initial video, Emily Artful's initial video. And I watched about half of Creepshow's rebuttal, but really Creepshow's rebuttal, like she told on herself, like, why do you have these screenshots of Emily from like 10 years ago? It was so weird. So weird. Thank you, Megan Raquel. Welcome. I don't know how much creamer I used, I didn't measure it. So what I'm having here is four cuties, and then there are two English muffins toasted. And on one of the English muffins, there's two turkey sausage patties, and on the other one, there is one turkey sausage patty. And there is one cup of the picked fresh pepper onion blend, which I saw. It's like, how long can you talk about a Jimmy, a Jimmy Dean sausage patty? <laughs> There is a teaspoon of butter that is combined, as well as a quarter cup of shredded mozzarella, or shredded, I'm sorry, shredded cheddar cheese. Three turkey. All right, it is now 3.20 in the afternoon, and I'm having a snack. I am going to have- Is that just balls of cream cheese? Two snowball cookies. <laughs> Oh, no. <laughs> and two pieces of banana bread with about... I thought she just had a glob of... Two globs of cream cheese. About two generous <laughs> tablespoons of light cream cheese. And I'm going to be drinking 32 ounces of water. Well, that's actually 42 ounces. I think. There's the juice. She was talking... Um, I think that's water in a juice container. But she was talking about how she was so addicted to juice. And a lot of you guys said that you... Um, we're addicted to juice too. It's just really sh a lot. It's really just like a sugar craving, right? This is my snack at three. I love cream cheese. See, that's like, mm, it's a little too much calorie for a small amount of food. Like that's not really going to fill you up. All right, it is 8.55 p.m. and this is my last meal of the day. This looks way more filling. Do you guys remember when Jen, so a couple years ago, was it a couple years ago? Yeah, a couple years ago, Jen um, had did a collab with Amy's Life Journey and it ended in drama. And Amy actually came out and told us that everything that Jen puts out and like her videos, they're all lies. Like when she does a what I ate today, it's all a lie. When she does a weigh in, like it's a law. It's all a law. 
I'm having a taco salad and what I have in my bowl is on the bottom there is about three cups of shredded iceberg lettuce then there is a half a pound of ground browned turkey with taco oh Kim um, I'm glad to hear that keep going girl the seasoning then one half cup of cheddar cheese shredded about four to six tablespoons of salsa I'll say six tablespoons of salsa and then two tablespoons we'll say three tablespoons of sour cream I didn't measure so I'm just estimating measure it looks more like that's a lot of sour cream huh so that is my taco salad along with I wanted something crunchy to go with it um, but I didn't have anything so I got some Fritos from the vending machine down I like a good taco salad downstairs What was it? A thousand? Twenty-eight eighteen. So realistically, that's not why she is in the predicament that she is. Twenty-eight eighteen a day, like you wouldn't be six hundred pounds. You'd be overweight, but you wouldn't be six hundred pounds. Like I probably eat that on a lot of days. <laughs> And of course it depends like if you work out like you could eat that and it would wouldn't you wouldn't gain a pound if you work out like that today i had it was about 12 ounces of coffee and it was cold um and then i just add ice to it and then the coffee creamer as you're gonna see here i use the kroger's vanilla caramel coffee <laughs> creamer it was just the this music in the background has me dead <laughs> Oh, that's okay, Kim. Okay, you didn't mean to send that many out. That's okay. Don't worry about it. I wasn't sugar-free or anything like that. I don't usually measure the amount of coffee creamer that I put in my coffee, but... Is she trying to troll? Like, I feel like she was trying to be Amberlynn Reed at this point by, like, measuring and... Ugh. Do you guys remember Amy's life journey? Like, she was really... She really, like took the amber isms <laughs> i remember this one time she said i'm planning on doing a recording of my husband's cooking <laughs> that stuck with me for all these years that stuck with me sake of knowing the calories i did measure it and i put in as much as i usually do until it tasted right and it was about a quarter of a cup which is four tablespoons and you'll see down here the calories for that somewhere down here i really like i like the duncan extra extra creamer it's like extra sugar extra creamy but i don't really use it i like it but i don't i don't use it you know sad this was at 10 55 a.m a little while after that and as you can see in this video over here i had a bagel and this was a thomas's bagel. bagel it was a blueberry bagel and on that bagel i had three teaspoons of the land of lakes whipped butter so this is I likely it's likely that this video is just like a law really Highly likely because this is at the time when she was fighting with Amy. I measure. I measured all of this, and then on that I had. Is that like a West Virginia thing? Measuring. Tablespoons of the natural Jif peanut butter, and then on top of that I put on a tablespoon, two tablespoons of cream cheese. And I measured all the stuff. Oh, and I also had my 32 ounces <laughs> I can't. Of water. That has to be a troll, right? It was a box right? of chocolates that somebody had got us. And I had four pieces. There. It's a Midwest thing. There were three pieces that was a serving, but I had four. And as you can see, I'm showing you the nutritional content there. It's 140 calories for three pieces, but I did when I logged it in my fitness pal, I did log it as four pieces. Um, the sweet was a little too sweet. So I decided I need something oh. to cut the sweets. My choice was Doritos and a cheese ball. The Doritos, oh, no. what was a serving of Doritos. I love a good Dorito. Who doesn't like Doritos? It's not a Midwest thing. <laughs> 
because they may look like more than a serving because the Doritos were like cracked and busted. As I was spooning it onto my plate, I didn't think it was a lot. And after I was finished eating it, I was very uncomfortable. This is all just a law. Comfortable because I overeat by a lot. Twizzlers, and these were the, I don't have the bag, I threw the bag away. Um, the watermelon twist Twizzlers, and they're the peel apart ones. And I'd already opened the bag earlier in the week because I got them for Christmas. But I Okay. Jen is just like, mm, let's look at this one. Life by Jen and Jen being cringe. Yeah. Good. Boom. Bam. Bam. Right. I always found their relationship to be interesting. So yesterday I saw a comment because we know like how they met, right? On Periscope, Jen was trolling Jean. Well, allegedly, based on someone in my comment section, they said that Jen was actually throwing like his addiction in his face while she was trolling. Like she was calling him a drunk. Wait, she admitted to that, didn't she? Allegedly, she admitted to that. So she was throwing his addiction in his face while behind the screen, she was struggling with her own. It didn't surprise me at all. <laughs> you think he's a feeder? <laughs> oh my God, this is so cringy. <laughs> <laughs> and we're rolling. That was good. Hello from Texas. <laughs> Honestly, she looked like I'm in a much better place. And we're, and we're uh, this in this. She looks like she's in a much better place than she is now. What do you guys think? Hello from Texas. <laughs> you just hold your horses there, cutie pie. Let's see, uh, lots and lots. And oh, that lots is a good lots. sound bite, Taylor. Yes. I'm going to just take a picture to remember my sound bite. This is cringy. We have a Jen sound bite right now. We only have one. We'll get to work on making, on making our, our chaffles. chaffles. We'll get to work on making our chaffles. chaffles. Thank you, uh, Naya, for coming in. Just stopped in to say hi. Love you, Alex, and your content content hope you have a great week thank you thank you for the super chat thank you for coming in welcome welcome, welcome. now back to jen in lots of alcohol and that's better jennifer's little sweetheart we have an oa and an aa up in her <laughs> So there's also some people that are concerned that you're using me and that you have motives for being here. Absolutely. <laughs> Correct. On spot. On That's point. great. But there's zero percent chance that he's using me. We know You that. think so? 100%. How do you know? I know. Huh? How, do you know? How does she know, right? She do a little pan around, around, around there. Because so I don't have any makeup on. Oh my gosh, this is giving um, Chantal and Nadir vibes. <laughs> He's cooking while she's filming. You're the star of the show. That you're no. what people want. Oh my gosh, the TikTok of her talking about people stealing her man. That was so good. <laughs> Wanna see? You share too much on the internet. <laughs> Jen gets in trouble on TikTok. Somebody told me that she was actually telling this woman like some woman on there was asking for money and jen went over and said why don't you get a job jen said that to someone that was asking for money <laughs> you just can't even make that up <laughs> beautiful jennifer too good beautiful heart, i'm doing like the little Grin thing with my hand over my chin. Thing. <laughs> yeah, that, exactly. <laughs> Thank you. What the hell do you fuck this thing? God damn it! See, this is why you need a uh, iron skillet. Oh! <gasps> yeah, you're gonna edit that out. 
<laughs> no, I think that's cute. We're, we're, we're almost finished. Creepy. Don't look like the devil, because then people say you're evil. I don't think I'm evil anyways. Stop. Yeah, you better edit half this crap out. Okay, let's... Mm. Oh my god, this is so cringy. <laughs> I'm gonna tell you what happened yesterday. That's my such god, a good sound bite. This is so cringy. I'm gonna tell you what happened. Oh my god, this is so cringy. I'm gonna tell you what happened yesterday. I'm not sure whether to look over like this or that look in good. the camera. I guess I'll just look in the camera. Now there's three places to look in there. Two. Look at me, look at you, look at the camera. Over here. <laughs> it doesn't get much more cringier, does What's it? It's all of your shirt. Coconut oil. Coconut you oil. Look like you're homeless. Yeah, I'm telling you what. I've been through the rain. <laughs> Do we need a coconut I oil? I smell like coconut oil. <laughs> no, one thing or another. Okay, so. That's the whole point. Yes. So, as you all know, this is so bad. Call that out? Probably. The I'll figure that out. Hopefully. Who are you? Uh, it was Who the, are um, you? It, I had an angel blood transfusion. So I'm a much better person now. I'm not an ex con. And <laughs> I'm, not, I'm not a manipulator and uh, I don't steal from Jennifer anymore. So. The blood oh my goodness. Awesome. What do you guys think that their fight was about? Because in Jen's previous video, yeah, she, in her previous video, she said that they had like, they hit a rough patch while she was in the hospital. And I honestly think it was because of food. Like, what else could it be? Jen wanted food and Jean didn't want to. Money. Okay. Yeah, you're right, Kamora. But the money, the money and the food, I mean, it's the same thing. It's expensive, all that food, especially right now, food. It's going up there in prices. So if you kids out there think drinking is all great and you're still 25, we'll keep on going uh, until about 10 years later and you're going to end up like me. Anyways. 15 years later, actually. Shh. Uh. Anyways, I'm done. <laughs> all right, so oh, he's wow. done. <laughs> okay, let's move on to another one. <laughs> Um, let's just go this, this way. What else is on here? So this is the one we watched yesterday, all about Jen. Jen tries counting calories. Wait, I wasn't done looking. Life by Jen, one year keto results. <laughs> What I eat today, low carb. Jen loves cheese. <laughs> Let's watch that. <laughs> we'll get to work on making we'll our get chuffles. to work on making our chuffles. It's 1.42 p.m. and this is the first thing I'm having today. This is six ounces of ground beef that... Oh, okay. So that's really keto-y, right? Just ground beef with pickles. What? <laughs> Some of these keto things look good, and some of them look... What? I have brown that I just heated up in the microwave with just this tiny little bit of mozzarella cheese over top. Mozzarella. That was my ice machine. Wait, that's just mayonnaise. Girl, what do you guys think of this mayonnaise? <laughs> I thought that was cheese, but that's just mayonnaise. And some pickles. Are and these truffles? Two truffles. Yes. That is one egg and a quarter cup of yes. cheese. I will laid off. We'll get to work on making our truffles. The cheese just a little bit, <laughs> so I could use a little bit on top of the hamburger. So all in together, it's one serving of mozzarella and cheese. Look. All right. Perfect. Shouldn't you be like? I don't know. I've heard, I've always heard like if you want to do keto, you should probably ask your doctor first, just in case. Like I'm not knocking keto. I, it's worked for a lot of people, but for some people, it's just not the right choice. It could be dangerous. 
Can the cheese, please? Chocolate waffles? No, it's um, it's cheese waffles. <laughs> Her food doesn't look good. You can still overeat on keto. Yeah. Yeah, I think that some people don't realize that. I mean, they just... They'll eat as much meat as they possibly can. <laughs> Cheese waffles. Yes. I made them. I have a video. I actually have a video making... Jen's truffles. <laughs> it's probably about a year old. I don't think it was that long ago. <laughs> and just a couple black olives. Eh, more than a couple, I guess. Sunday, July the 12th, and this is my first meal of the day. It is now 1.16 p.m., and I'm gonna have- Yes, I got this waffle iron as well. It's only $10 at Target, so it's a good deal, and you get these mini waffles. I've made chaffles and waffles. Chaffles, which is one egg and one quarter cup of mozzarella cheese. And then I'm gonna have kind of a deconstructed pizza over here with the leftovers from Last night's pizza. More of that ground beef. So this is ground beef, pepperoni, a little bit of mozzarella cheese, not even a serving, a tablespoon or so of the pizza sauce, and some black olives. This is my second and last meal for Sunday. It looks like she's just making sandwiches with no bread. <laughs> it doesn't look very appetizing. 11 or 3 p.m. I slept most of the day. I haven't felt well. So... It's going to be very simple. And a lot of pickles, which I love pickles too. You can't go wrong with pickles. Low calorie, tasty, good. Thank you, Juniper, for the super chat. Please waffle iron a zebra cake for your next mukbang. That's a good idea. Is that like a TikTok trend or something? Thank you, Juniper. I'm always looking for suggestions. I actually just tried to take a shot of pickle juice like some people recommended for the leg cramps. I don't know how you guys do it. You guys are warriors because... Oh, really? A shot of pickle juice for leg cramps. I've never heard that before. I like pickle juice, though, so it wouldn't be hard for me. I would just sip it. I just got, like, a couple sips in, and I'm like, mm, can't do it no more. But yum, I am going to have some pickles. So hopefully that will help a little bit. Here I have two of the chicken breasts. These were like the already cooked frozen and I just put them in the microwave and I put a slice of Munster cheese on each piece and then some pickles and some mustard and then I'm going to have a glass of root beer. Did you ever notice these girls really like their, they really like their packaged turkey, packaged chickens, lunch meats. All right, it's 12.54 and I got my first meal of the day made. I have my Okay, I'm going to try this. I'm going to try this. So you do the chaffles, then the avocado, and then some bacon. I would put the bacon on the sandwich. That might be good with an egg. Eggs. As of late, two chaffles that's made with one egg and a quarter of a cup of shredded mozzarella. <laughs> a half of an avocado. Boo-boo. She probably sips pickle juice while eating dill-flavored lace. <laughs> <laughs> two and two servings of the pre-cooked bacon which is six slices There's actually i'm i'm allergic to eggs so four there because i've already eaten two breaking my fast and i'm hungry so nutritional value down here what is that just a what is that a strawberry a cherry Very good. It does give I'm you the taste of uh, cherry cheesecake. All right, so this is going to be my first meal. So pleasurable. It's hyper palatable. It's so pleasurable. 
whole meal of the day. You saw I had my iced coffee and that one cream cheese sugar-free jello. Oh, can we do a um a very scientific poll? And that poll is do you like cottage cheese? Let me know if you guys like cottage cheese. This might be controversial. <laughs> I think you either love it or hate it. A bite and that calorie and carb content will be at the bottom of the screen. So this is, it's 116 now and I'm going to eat this. It's one cup of cottage cheese and I cut up a cup, a little less than a cup. I guess that's a cup of okay, strawberries. Berries. And I'm just going to, oops, sorry. Okay, I love cottage cheese. I didn't want to say because I didn't want to, I didn't want to influence anyone for our very, very special poll. <laughs> but those cottage doubles, though, where you get, you have the cottage cheese, then you have the fruit and you just like, oh, it's great. It's great. Sorry about the wooden spoon there in your face. <laughs> and then I'm just having a gigantic taco salad over here on my plate. So I've got lettuce mix, ground beef. It seems like she has some things that are her favorite that we see pretty often, like taco salad, for example. Brown ground beef, um, cheddar cheese, banana peppers. My, my lighting director is coming over here with me. Um, banana peppers, green olives, salsa, and sour cream is my whopping dinner. Yummy. I cannot wait to eat. And this is my second meal of the day. This big old salad here. I was going to show me measuring it, weighing it out. <laughs> oh my God. Not another measure. Classic ranch, 45 calories. Have you guys ever had that zero calorie dressing? It's like not even good. It's horrible. Um, no wonder it's zero started. calories. I got held up waiting for my cousin and I am hungry now. So I'm having one serving of this organic 50-50 blend. Oh my gosh, Blink FM. The McDonald's salad shakers. Do you guys remember that? You put the dressing in like a thing like this. And then you just shake, 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 shake. Those were great. Those were great. <clears throat> also, does anyone remember the shake fries that you used to get at Burger King? So basically you would get a bag. They would give you a package of like powdered cheese. You put it in the bag with the fries and then you just shook the bag. And then you got these powdered fries. They tasted better than they sound. Okay, let's do our poll. <laughs> Poll results. This is very serious. Scientific discussion. Do you like cottage cheese? 52% say yes. And 47 say no. Okay. I can deal with that. Snack wraps. Yes. Snack wraps were my shit. You know, sheets still has snack wraps if you're looking for them. They're not as good as the old McDonald's one though. Old McDonald. <laughs> and that is in the bowl. And then I'm also having two servings of the croutons. Those croutons right there. And then three servings of the okay. house farm okay. classic ranch over top of it. Oh, and then also a serving of crumbled blue cheese. Crumbled blue. I'm not a blue cheese and, girl. No, I don't like it. And two ounces of, you can't really see it, but cucumber, sliced up cucumber. So that's what I'm going to eat for my second meal today. I have my three egg omelets. Uh. I didn't have enough <laughs> of the cheddar. Uh. That doesn't look good. That does not look good. 
I like my omelet to have a good um, presentation, you know, like just flipped over once. It has a good presentation. I need IHOP. I want IHOP. Better shredded cheddar cheese. So I went ahead and put a slice of American cheese in my omelet. And there is one serving of turkey sausage crumbles, three eggs, and then the slice of American cheese. And there was just a tiny bit of cheddar. There wasn't even a half, probably, probably a quarter of um, a serving, which is... Oh, look, it says, I love you, Jean, on the whiteboard. Does it? Yeah. Up. So what we have are we're having our truffles, our eggs with some cheese, and our sausage, um, pork sausage. This oh, wow, those, those truffles look a lot like regular waffles. Could have fooled me. Exactly two ounces because I weighed them out. I'm very proud of myself. I'm guessing this is Jean's we plate. We have two eggs with a little bit of cheese and the two truffles. And I'm using so. the horsey sauce that I made. Ooh. In the She's video putting last that on the truffles. With the dips and sauces. And I put that on my egg. Oh, on the egg. And then I'm going to put a little bit of... Oh, I thought that was butter. A sugar-free syrup on my truffles. And that is... All right, here's my first meal. Ew, horsey sauce. That it hits your tongue and like, ooh, ooh. Today, I'm going to take this to cards with me. I'm having a Diet Cherry Dr. Pepper. Diet Dr. Pepper, New York City. I'm having two ounces of the smoked honey turkey. And there's two pieces of Colby Jack cheese. Look, she has a coldest. Did Jen ever get that sponsorship? And one piece of the hot pepper jack cheese and then over here I have a slice of mozzarella cheese with four pieces of pepperoni inside okay it's dinner time my second meal of the day I wish I would have recorded me making this because I think this is going to be a little bit of genius what so is that? in this bowl I have two eggs eggs one tablespoon of cream cheese one tablespoon of almond flour and one eighth of a cup of shredded mozzarella cheese and taco seasoning. I'm going to make taco truffles. I think this is going to be pretty genius. So oh, I'm wait, going what? To take some <laughs> of my. Okay, so that was like her batter. She'll put anything in that waffle maker, huh? Expertly paired shredded cheese. Not a lot since there is some cheese in the chaffle. What did Destiny say? You wish I was back here. Huh? You wish I was back here. Huh? Ready? <laughs> I'm going to use about a quarter of a cup, which is one serving on combined, not on both, but just between the two. Okay, I mean, that looks edible. So that's my dinner, my second meal for today. <laughs> Those look pretty darn good. Not bad, not bad. Is there ham in there? Ham, spinach. I am spinach. very impressed with myself. I'm gonna go ahead and sprinkle just a little bit of cheese on the top of them. It looks hyper palatable. It's hyper palatable. It's so pleasurable. And that's it. <laughs> and there is my first meal of the day. And I'm going to add about an eighth of a cup of shredded mozzarella cheese. I don't want to add too much more cheese because it already has tons of cheese in it. The good old days. So my little eyeball tells me that's about an eighth of a cup. And then I'm having what? <laughs> a repeat of yesterday's breakfast, breakfast lunch, because it was so good. The egg muffins. Oh, okay, this is a cheese, this is a cheese compilation. <laughs> she needs more, Except more cheese. Except I left out the peppers and onions. So it's just spinach, bacon, eggs, and cheese. 
my final meal. I'm having the zucchini Hi, Abby. taco boats, the two tablespoons of the expertly Oh my prepared. gosh, <gasps> cucumber boats. Jen did it first. No, I don't, I don't know. Spider-Man, when did that come out? I think Amber did it first. Amber did the cucumber boats first. Craft shredded cheese. It's a blend of mozzarella and cheddar. And there we have our pumpkin spice chocolates. This is going to be my first meal of the day. It, and I put that in the bowl. And pumpkin I'm also spice with egg. What do you guys think about that? Put in about a half of a cup of shredded cheddar mozzarella blend. Yeah, she did have an she did have an impacted bowel when she went to the hospital. That was part of the reason she had to go. And I'm just going to mix this all together. Here's my third and final meal for today. This is There's my no meal. way that was her actual serving. I believe a lot of this is manufactured, as many people have suggested. Thank you, A, for the super chat. I'm super late and we'll be catching up later, but wanted to say how much we all love and appreciate you as a person and your content. Thank you, A. Thank you so much. Thank you, everyone, for being here tonight. Welcome! What else do we have? Oh, I like this sound. I'm a strong bitch and I will continue to be a strong bitch. <laughs> crack broccoli casserole all plated up and my rotisserie chicken that I had left from Labor Day. Yum. And this is what I'm going to have for my first meal. This, my, one of my waffles kind of fell apart a little bit. Um, but this is, I made half of the waffle recipe this isn't the chaffle it's the actual pancake keto pancake waffle oh. recipe and so you can make some pancakes and they're still keto i made two of those <laughs> and on there is a fried egg and then one Eggs. piece of sausage and then the other piece of sausage is there and then some of the shredded cheese and then I'm having three strawberries on the side and then the other sausage patty because there's two sausage patties per serving. Lastly, I'm gonna add a quarter of a cup of finely shredded Parmesan cheese. Oh my goodness, <laughs> more cheese. Cheese, cheese, cheese. There is my end result, my chicken Alfredo with zoodles with the homemade oh, I don't know. Alfredo <clears throat> sauce. What do you guys think of zoodles? Are they any good? I tried to do the wheat or what is it? Whole wheat, whole grain pasta. It tastes completely different. It's not good. This is going to be my first meal for Wednesday. It's about 2.11 and my fast, my 18 hour fast will end around 2 30 so by the time i'm done filming this oh then, so she was doing like intermittent fasting along with the keto get ready to eat it'll be just about time to eat well i mean that's what that's what she said she was doing right so this morning i went ahead and made these egg muffins these are the spinach the are good. bacon cheese and egg muffins and those will i'll put in the fridge and so I made scrambled nine eggs all together. So I have six in there. And then this little casserole dish held three. Scrambled so I'm going to have eggs. half of the serving. So that's <laughs> one and a half servings of the egg muffin. I can't. Which is on my plate. And um, I put a tablespoon of shredded cheddar cheese over top of that. 9 p.m., a lot later than I usually eat. I got to talking to people and lost track of time. Hmm. Not feeling well tonight and not feeling in the mood to make anything involved or cooking. So, very simple, basic, and no veggies involved. <laughs> so, I'll make up for the veggies tomorrow. So, what I have here is the 
90 second keto bread. Oh my gosh. Listen to this. And then on there. Apparently, Chantal admitted on a live stream that if she doesn't get her YouTube paycheck on the 21st, she may have to return some things in order to pay her rent. I just, how can she be so irresponsible? She was just bragging about making 20K and she didn't save any of that money. Like, where did you guys think it even went? To Natter, all of it. She said that she gave money to Natter's family. It could just be a money grab. Time for an iPad heist. <laughs> yeah, she needs to get that thing back. Oh, that's what she's returning. <laughs> Substances, yeah. That's why she's returning the Mac. Yeah, she already said that. Like, she was going to get something cheaper than what than the Mac, which she said it was like fifteen hundred. Upper nose. <laughs> She's on a Chromebook. Wait, really? I thought she was supposed to be playing games. <laughs> Chromebook. Yikes on bikes. She's just e-banging, so her VIBs give her money. That could be it. Look at Foodie Scooty. She could she could sell her scooter. Her Scooty, what is it? A walker? <laughs> she could sell her walker. Return all the Uber Eats. I don't think they'll take it back. <laughs> Obviously. Her can of butter maker... You're right. Like, that was totally just unnecessary. She was spending 3 k a month on fast food. You're right. Remember she said that? Her, like, fast food budget. She said that, like, over a year ago. She said that her fast food, no, her food budget was 3000 a month. Like, that's crazy. <laughs> How is she going to keep up with her fast food budget? Wow. Her life is really like crumbling down at this time. 3K on food. Unsmoke the weed. Can you send cat food? Yeah. What about the cats? That's what I worry about the most. Like she never took them to the vet at all. I'm not sure how much her rent is. <sighs> don't mean to kill the vibe but oh my goodness bam yeah I'm scared of that as well war breaking out I mean we're already like halfway there it's scary we live in some scary times these days Pete's will need to get a job yeah I guess Pete's could do something Oh, 1700 for the rent. Is that in Canadian, though? So it's... If that's in Canadian, I feel like that's... I don't know how much that is, actually. She could work a remote job. Yeah, what kind of job is she going to be able to do? Especially because of her past online. Like... Any employer is going to see the things that she has been doing and saying online, and it's going to be a no-go for her. Customer service, unless they can put her, they could put her, yeah, on the phone, telemarketing, phone sex, <laughs> phone sex, maybe. I guess they could do like, yeah, something where she's like seen, no, something where she's heard but not seen. Get my drift? <laughs> Customer service. I don't know. Can you? She could be a telly girl. Can you be a telly girl in Canada or is that against the law? I get the feeling it might not be against the law. She could be an Uber Eats driver. 
See, I don't know. Like sometimes you have to climb like stairs and I don't know if she would have the stamina to be an Uber Eats driver. Like not that it really requires that much. It's not really a hard job to deliver food, but for her, that might be hard. Just like getting out of the car and stuff. She could make the the people that buy Uber Eats from her, she could make them come out to her car. <laughs> Can you come out to my car and get it? <laughs> that would be so good. Oh, yeah, when Kim K said, get your fucking ass up and work. <laughs> I saw that. People were pissed. Twitter was pissed. I mean, Kim grinds. Like, there's no way that Kim makes all that money without working. Kim works, you know? She does something. A call center. Yeah, supposedly she... Uh, Pete's worked at a call center. Maybe he can get another job at the call center. I wonder if like Pete's job would have him back or not. If he's feeling up to it. I believe that Pete's actually told her that like he's not going to let her put any of her weird videos on his channel because he doesn't want to lose his channel. And you know what? Pete's does his little live streams. Gets has his viewers and stuff. I wouldn't want to give up my channel either. I wouldn't want to give it up for Foodie either. So good for him on putting his foot down and keeping his channel. He's boring. Yeah, but let him have his little space. You know, we don't have to invade it. Foodie doesn't have to invade it. We're not invading it. <laughs> Thank you, Juniper. You make different decisions when given... One million for a business when you have rich parents and don't have to pay for rent. Yes, Kim works, but she has no risk and can build a business without worry. That's very true, Juniper. Very true. Like, if if she has a business that fails, like, I'm sure that she has had businesses that have failed, but she doesn't even really feel it because she has so many different things. Thank you, Juniper. I remember Foodie was, like, comparing herself to Kim K. She said that, like, what? She said that Natter was Kanye and Roman was Pete. <laughs> but now Roman doesn't want anything to do with her. He called her evil. Mm -mm 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 -mm. I like your little, little baker's rack. <laughs> What's my favorite Instapot meal? Girl, that's not my Instapot. <laughs> I like to make shrimp in the air fryer. Foodie Kardashian. Kendall is the least insufferable. I like Kylie. <laughs> I guess. I don't know. I'm kind of just over them in general. Did you guys see that they're coming back to Hulu? Hulu is having a new show with the Kardashians. It's like, I thought they were supposed to be done with keeping up. But they took like, what, a year off? That's it? <laughs> and now they're back filming Hulu. But they got a lot of good drama, like Pete, uh, Pete and Kanye drama, um, Courtney and Travis drama. So they definitely have enough drama to start the show. You're over the Kardashians. Yeah, I'm just, I'm a little over them too. I feel like because of the pandemic, like, and they were just so out of touch with reality. People are just over that. Like the general public is just over these celebrities. And especially when they get like, like, for example, wasn't um, Leonardo DiCaprio just called out because he was talking about, you know, going green and then it came out that he has like a yacht or whatever. And it's like, that's not green. <laughs> I 
I don't know. I mean, all these celebrities, they have their private jets and like their carbon footprint is a lot more than every regular people, you know? So it's just kind of annoying to be lectured by these celebrities about things like that. Rob is with Black China. Uh, I don't think they're together anymore. I think they co-parent, which is nice. I haven't seen, uh, what's his name? Rob. Rob kind of just like faded out of the spotlight. Like he came back for a couple years, but he kind of faded again. You don't get mad at celebrities. You don't know how the media twists their persona. Yeah, it's true. We don't know them. It's the same as like YouTube. Like we get this, but also like on YouTube, the person that is doing mostly the person that's doing the videos is usually the one that's editing them. So you get to decide like what is shown and what is not versus a reality show. Sometimes you don't really have control. And sometimes like the production can make you look even worse than you even are. <laughs> okay, you guys, I'm going to go ahead and end it for the night. We need Wendy Williams back. Yes. <laughs> yes. Bring Wendy back. Where is she? What is up with her? Anyways, peace and love to her. Anyways, that's going to be it for today's live stream. Thank you guys so much for being here. I hope you guys have a great rest of the week and a nice sleep tonight. Good night, Michelle. Good night, Louise. Good night, The Alley Show. Good night to everybody. Thank you so much for being here, and I will catch you guys in the next.